Please, don't be my bank account. I really don't need him to see how broke I am. My hand? Wait, which one? Oh, okay, guess it's this one then. <laughs> yeah, this is gonna be weird. I don't know what to wear. Okay, very funny genius, but I have class today, so no. Oh, actually, this could work. <gasps> Are you kidding me? Okay, that was pretty cute, so I guess I won't be mad at him, but he owes me a new lipstick. Does anyone know the answer to letter A? No, I don't. Yes? Um, 22? Correct. Good job. Hey, beautiful. What do you say you come with me? Don't be scared. Come on. <laughs> I just knocked somebody out. Or, I guess you did. Okay, yeah, I should probably go. Morning, I just wanted to say thank you for protecting me like that yesterday. So, I guess you can hear and see everything that I do? Well, guess I'll take that as a yes. <laughs> hey, would you stop that? Hey, Mia. Hi. I, uh, I like your dress. Oh, thanks. Can I have your snap? Yeah, sure, it's... Are you... are you good? Yeah, sorry about that. Why don't I just add you? Okay, my username is... What the... Actually, never mind. That was so embarrassing. Move! Ow! Oh, I barely even pushed... <gasps> I am so sorry. Do you know how much this outfit was? No. Of course you don't, you idiot. Did you just- No, I- Zip it. You are gonna pay for my dry cleaning. Why are you so aggressive? I'm just trying to look out for you. Well, please tone it down because you're gonna get me in trouble. On my way. We're gonna party hard tonight. I am so excited. Okay, I'll be waiting. Come on, girl, let's go. Um, <laughs> let go of the door. I can't. Oh, I see what you're doing. No, I'm being serious. My soulmate, he's- Save it. You should have told me you didn't want to come. No, Sarah, wait. Thanks for wasting my gas. You know, I thought I asked you to tone it down. I don't need you to be acting like a, a parent to me. This is getting really annoying. When do I get to control him? Want to switch and control your soulmate? Yes. You will control your soulmate's hand with your mind. You will now be able to see and hear everything your soulmate does. Some things will be censored for privacy reasons. Oh, that's a relief. Are you ready to switch now? Yes. She's in control of me now? Great. Just don't do anything dirty. <gasps> ah! Jeez, I was just kidding. Oh, this is so fun. Ready for the concert? I sure am. Who is she? Oh, no, he doesn't. Whoa! You good? No, oh, I'm fine. <laughs> Chill, this is my sister. Whoops. Damn, and I thought I was overprotective. Sorry, I guess we both kind of are. Why do we have to switch back? Oh, please, just be anything but my hand. Seriously? Listen, I just got a new job, and I cannot have you messing it up for me, okay? Hi, welcome to Happy Burger. How may I take your order? Get me a cheeseburger. Okay, and would you like a side of fries with that? No, no thank you. Hey, I said no fries. I am so sorry, ma'am. Let me fix that for you right now. Jerk. Excuse me, are you talking to me? No, ma'am, not you. Here is your food, ma'am, and I am very sorry for the misunderstanding. You should be fired. <gasps> How dare you? No, ma'am, I am so sorry. That was not me. I am going to go speak to the manager, you weirdo. No, <laughs> ma'am, please wait. Hand over your equipment. Please, don't fire me. Okay, maybe I won't if you uh, do me a little favor. Um, what exactly did you want me to do for you? Oh, there's a lot of things I'd like you to do. Okay, this is getting really weird. Uh, do something. Oh, how are you so strong? I think I'm gonna go clock out now. 
Thanks a lot for getting me fired. You should be thanking me. Your boss was a creep. Yeah, I know. <gasps> it's time for my audition. Oh my gosh, I am so nervous. I hope I do well. Whoops. <laughs> Aw, now it looks like you wet yourself. Guess you can't audition anymore. Ow! <gasps> my ponytail extension, you little brat! You two, my office, now. Now I'm banned from the play. Stop. I just want to be left alone. I don't feel good. Nine one one. What's your emergency? Hello. Ma'am, we received a call from. Oh, she's passed out. Whoa! What the? Is this some kind of joke? Her soulmate's probably controlling her. Oh right. What? Her pulse? Does she not have a pulse? Give me a gunny in here. What? Oh, you want to show me something? Her pulse is very faint. I got the gurney. Don't worry, we're gonna find out what's wrong. The ambulance is ready. Let's get her up. Your blood sugar was very low, and you went into a coma. If your soulmate didn't call when he did, you might not have made it. Hey, I just wanted to say thank you for calling 911. You literally saved my life. Anytime, babe. I got you. I love you. Likewise. It's what my dad would want. You picked the prince, right? Of course. Good, because I'm not having you marry a pirate. They can't be trusted. Dad was a pirate, and you married him. We don't speak of your father. You know that. Marianne, why do you have the pirate's mark? I don't know. Girl, don't lie to me. All right, fine. I picked the pirate, but I don't know why everyone is so afraid of them. They seem kind of cool. I don't think I can be friends with you. Why? Why? Because I'm not going to be associated with someone who wants to marry a pirate. They're dangerous, and now that you have that mark, they're going to come for you. Mom, I'm home. Mom? <gasps> Hello. We're looking for a girl with the pirate's mark. Take off that cloak. Looking for a girl with the pirate's mark. Take off that cloak. I don't think that's... The captain wasn't asking. I knew it. I could sense her mark. Take her to the ship, boys. Yes, captain. Wait, what? Welcome aboard the ship, the Blue Pearl. Legend says when you touch your soulmate, your mark will disappear. So let's see which one of us gets to marry you. Raise your sword if you think the girl is your soulmate. All right, make a line. Hello, miss. Let's see if it's me. Ah, but that's all of us. What about him? Father, do you think I could try? I told you to stay below deck. Ignore my son. He's no pirate. Wait, where'd you get that necklace? My father. Captain, doesn't that look just like the one that the... The pirate king had. Tell me, what is your father's name? You know what? I can already tell you're his daughter, which means you're the lost pirate princess. I can already tell you're his daughter, which means you're the lost pirate princess. My father was a pirate, but he wasn't a king. Why do you speak of him in past tense? Because he's dead. Who told you that? My mother. I see. So she was the sea witch who took you away. Don't call her that. She said she wanted to protect me from him. No, your father wanted you to have a royal life. And she wanted you to have a normal one. At least that's what he told me. Wait a minute, you knew my father? Yes, we were great friends. Why don't I take you to him? You would do that? Of course. After all, you are royal blood. Princess, you have to get off the ship. Right now. What? Why? Because my father lied to you. He's not taking you to see your father, him, and all the other crewmates. They're cursed. The only way to break the curse is to sacrifice a royal. He wants to kill me. I want to help you, but we have to jump off the ship. Your mark, it's gone. That means I'm your... Well, soulmates. I don't even know your name. Oh, right. My name is William. I have a canoe we can escape. Not so fast. You take my son. I'll take the girl. No! William. Where are we? We're on Skull Island, princess. In the exact spot we were all cursed. How much of my blood do you need? To break the curse, we need all of it. Father, no! You stay away from my daughter. Dad? I told you he was alive. Take all of his crewmates into custody. 
Turn around. Wait, I was trying to help her. No, wait. Spare him, please. That's my soulmate. Gods, leave him. Yes, your majesty. Dad, I thought that you were dead. How did you find me? I gave you that necklace for a reason, Mo. It's a tracker. I see you chose to remain a princess. Well, Marianne, would you still like to marry a pirate? Yes. How would you like to be Mary? Are you guys almost done shopping yet? Can you, like, stop complaining? Ocean, do you like this dress? Yeah, it's cute, I guess. Okay, cool, because you're buying it. <laughs> <laughs> Your total is 5,200 words. That is an insane amount of words. So what? It doesn't affect you. We're hungry. Okay, then go buy yourself your own food. I am done paying for you guys. You brat! How dare you! You know we don't have a lot of words! Well, maybe if you guys didn't talk so much, that wouldn't be a problem. <gasps> That's it! I'm calling Daddy! Oh my gosh, he's so gonna yell at her. No, wait! What do you guys want to eat? <laughs> <laughs> That's what we thought. Look! The prince! Let's go talk to him! Are we allowed to? Are we allowed to? Of course you're not! Just stay here! I swear, she is so annoying! Excuse me, but what if I told you I could help you meet the prince? And all I need are your words. You want me to give you my infinite words? Mm-hmm. But I'll get your stepsisters to leave you alone, too. You could do that? How? Through magic, of course. Just look at how hot the prince is. I mean, don't you want him? He is very handsome, but I just can't give up my words. I don't even know if I can trust you. My dear, I live to help others. In fact, I'll even give you a chance to gain your words back. All you have to do is get the prince to fall in love with you. But without my words, how will I get him to- You have your looks, your pretty face, and don't underestimate the power of body language. <laughs> Ocean, we want more food. I don't have all day. Okay, you have a deal. Excellent choice. Perfect. And one more thing about the deal. <laughs> you have 48 hours to get the prince to fall in love with you, or your words are mine forever. Ocean, we're hungry. Let's go. Forget. Why are you talking to that weird girl and her grandma? I don't know. Uh, let's get out of here. Grandma? Why? I ought to turn them into clams. Let's just get you to the prince. The prince will be here any minute. Good luck. Your time starts now. Stop. Excuse me, miss. Do you need some help? You don't have any words left, do you? You must be lost. It's not safe out here. Please, come with me. Is that better? What's your name? Oh, right. Uh, wait here. Ocean. That's a beautiful name. I wish I could give you words, but my father, he made it against the... Son, who are you talking to? Happy birthday. Hope you like your gift. Gummy bears? Really, guys? They're magic. Each one gives you a different ability. Okay, let's see what the red one does. Hey, check it out. Someone left five bucks on the street. Wait, don't go over there. <sighs> that car came out of nowhere. How did you know that was going to happen? I, I don't know. I just did. Excuse me, Bria. Could I see you after class? You wanted to see me, Mr. Peters? Yes, I have an assignment for you. And it's not on paper, if you know what I mean. Actually, I have to go. Mom, I think we need to report my... What is he doing? Your little brother is building a tower. With bricks? No, wait, I think he's gonna... Oh no! Our table! It's broken! What color should I choose today? Hmm, just kidding. I already picked it. Let's go with blue. Hey, can I go to Jessica's party this weekend? No. Jessica is a bad influence on you. Mom, she's fine. Actually, she's fine. Okay, so can I go? No, I I just said no. Oh, come on, just let me go. Okay, sure, honey, you can go. I think I know what my ability is now. See ya. Hi, I'd like to return the shirt I bought here. Sure, do you have the receipt? I don't, I actually lost it. 
Oh, yeah, no receipt, no refund. Oh, but it still has the tags on it, and I have the card that I used to pay for it. Yeah, don't care. I need the receipt, okay? Your new return policy is no receipt, no problem. So let's get that refund started, shall we? Your brother wants to play. Would you just forget about me? I have work to do. Hey, Tommy, I just wanted to say I'm sorry. I shouldn't have yelled at you. Wait a minute! What? Who are you? <gasps> Yesterday's ability was really weird, so let's go with purple today. Please don't be bad. Hey, Dad, I'm gonna head to Jessica's party. Now, wait just a minute. Don't worry, Mom said I can go. I better let her have some fun before I break with the news about the divorce. Uh, you and Mom are getting a divorce? I didn't... Oh, no, you got mine reading today, didn't you? Sweetheart, you weren't supposed to find out like that. Good morning, Bria. Good morning, Mr. Peters. She's got such pretty eyes and a really cute butt. What a creep. Ew, there she is. I don't want to talk to her. Hi, bestie. Oh, don't bestie me. You are a fake friend. You know what? Take your friendship bracelet back. Ow! I'm so sorry. I did not mean to hit you in your face. Come here. <gasps> I can't believe she broke my freaking elbow. What are you looking at, Daryl? I don't care that you broke your elbow. Ah! Now that my elbow's finally healed, I'm going with green today. <laughs> well, what is that? Wait, can I control time? Oh, this is gonna be fun. Why are you packing a suitcase? I'm moving out, honey, remember? Yeah, the divorce. You know, this whole thing isn't right. I know you still care about mom. You just need to show her a little more. Now, before I unpause him, I'm going to give him this to hold for mom. Perfect. Daniel, who prepared this dinner? Dad did. I did? I, I mean, uh, yeah. Oh, baby, this is really romantic. Okay, I don't need to see this. You ready for the talent show? Wait, that was today? Don't tell me you forgot. Of course not. <laughs> Taught myself how to play this in one hour, so let's hope it goes well. She's really good. Ready to see your soulmate letter? One, two. <gasps> what? Cover it up. Does the letter F stand for something that I don't know? Never mind about your letter. We'll just cover it so no one can see it. It's fine. But mom... Don't argue with me on this one. Here, wear this glove for the ball tonight. But if I wear this glove, how is my soulmate ever supposed to find me? He won't. But that's not fair. Why won't you just tell me what's wrong with this letter? Enough questions and complaining. I'm the queen and what I say goes. Now if I see you take that glove off one time tonight, you will regret it. Care to dance, princess? I don't really feel like dancing. Oh, come on, princess. It's a beautiful night. All you gotta do is take my hand. Ow! My glove's on fire. Whoa, uh, hang on, I got it. No, no, it. wait. That was weird. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Hey, is that your soulmate letter? Because I think I... No, please don't look at that. But, Princess, I... Aspen, where is your glove? Aspen, you're supposed to be wearing your glove. I... It was my fault. Did you burn her glove? It was an accident. You are to never see this boy again. Gods, take her to her room. Yes, Your Majesty. Here, I got you a new one. What is with all the secrets? What is wrong with this letter? And why couldn't I talk to that guy? Cover that mark. I don't want to look at it. There are some secrets that are meant to be kept. You obviously don't understand that. Oh, and you're grounded for not listening to me. Ugh. She's still treating me like I'm five years old. This whole thing about my letter is ridiculous. Did I do that? I think I did, but how do I make it stop? Do I have powers? I brought you food, princess. And I brought the soulmate handbook. Don't let the queen see you reading it. I won't. Thank you. F stands for fire, which is the power the male soulmate will possess. <laughs> My glove's on fire. Wait, so he has fire powers and I have ice? Aspen. You've been locked in your room for a while. I just wanted to check on you. Your hand is freezing. Really? I didn't even notice. Mm-hmm. Well, has anything strange happened to you today? No. But actually, Mom, I'm pretty tired, so I'm gonna... Yes, by all means, get your rest. Keep a close eye on her, please. Yes, Your Majesty. Mom? Princess. <gasps> Shh, hey, it's okay. You know me. I'm the guy from the ball. How did you get onto my balcony? This is gonna sound crazy, but I used my fire powers to fly up here, and I think you and I are... 
Soulmates, I know. I read the Soulmate Handbook, and this F apparently stands for fire, which are your powers, but the only problem is, I think I have ice powers. Whoa, you're kidding. Well, you know what they say, opposites, opposites attract. attract. I say we kiss and see what happens. Wait. We should kiss and see what happens. Uh, wait. What's wrong? I don't know. All of a sudden, I just started to not feel good. I know why. Mom? Mm-hmm. How long have you been listening in? Long enough to know your powers have come in. You knew? Why didn't you ever tell me? Because your powers mean you and your soulmate can never be together. You're lying. I am telling the truth. If you kiss him, you will die. No, we're supposed to be together. See? Fire and ice don't mix. Get rid of him. <laughs> no! <laughs> Wait! Let's go, princess. Stop fighting me. There. Those gloves will not be coming off. Princess? Go away. No, please wait. I want to help you. I know how to get those special gloves off. Let me see your hands. Aspen, I escaped. What are you doing? Proving to you that you and I can be together. What are you doing? Proving to you that you and I can be together. Your Highness, I'm not so sure that was a good idea. She's fine. Right, Aspen? Princess? No. Please, Aspen, don't do this to me. I think your powers were too strong for her. She still has a pulse. There has to be something I can do to save her. True love's kiss. It could awaken her. But you'd have to give up your powers. If it means saving her, I'll do it. If you drink this potion, your fire powers will be gone forever. Please work. Princess! Princess! I can't believe you sacrificed your powers for me. Aspen, you're more important to me than any of my powers could be. Aspen, I was wrong. I had no idea your soulmate was so selfless. Please forgive me. Okay, Mom, I forgive you, but you have to promise me no more secrets. Yes, I promise you. Hey, our soulmate letters are gone. I wonder what that means. Please don't be anything crazy. I hope you didn't get a bad curse, honey. All right. Don't be suspicious. Don't be suspicious. Don't be suspicious. Don't be suspicious. I told you to clean this room, honey. I'm just a baby. Just because you're the youngest doesn't mean you don't have to clean. I get you, baby. You and I, we're just not working out. I can buy myself flowers. I'm sorry. I get some to play What the hell are you doing? See, this is why I'm breaking up with you. Is that your report card, honey? Let me see. Hand it over. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. I need to see it. Let me tell you something. Only talking in viral TikTok sounds was really annoying. Let's hope this new curse isn't as bad. Must do everything you're... Oh, come on. I can't believe how bad your report card was. I told you I was sorry. You're still grounded for two weeks. What? Come on. How is that even fair? That's enough. Not another word from you, young lady. Mm. Stop fooling mm. around and go to school. Why haven't you been talking at all? You've been super quiet. Mm. What? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Huh? Can you just say something? Thank you so much. You are a literal lifesaver. That's such a cute squishmallow. You should just give it to me. Oh my gosh, thank you. <laughs> Actually, I, I didn't mean to give you that. Uh, just let me keep it. Okay, you can keep it. Thank you, girly. I always wanted this one. Wait here. Jillian, wait. I'll be right back. Great, now I can't move. Stay here. Um, Jillian, wait. I'll be right back. Great, now I can't even move from this spot. Jillian? What are you doing? Move out of the way. Oh my gosh, thank you. So, you're the girl that's cursed to do whatever she's told. How do you know about that? Uh, you haven't seen the tweet? Jillian knew about my curse? Yeah, she tweeted it to the whole school. Now everyone's gonna try and take advantage of me. It's gonna be okay. Our curses only last for 24 hours. Tomorrow you'll get a new one. You have got to be kidding me. Hey, give me your lunch money. I know you can't resist. <laughs> give that back. Stand back and don't talk to me anymore. Slap yourself. Ah. Now, punch yourself. <laughs> Jillian, what is your problem? You should know. Don't listen to Jillian. Thanks. This whole curse thing just isn't... 
Want to give Jillian your curse permanently? What? Blake, it said I had the option to give my curse to Jillian permanently. Are you? I don't know. The option just disappeared. She did try to have you hit by a train. Yeah, but... Look, I'm just saying, after that, if I were you, I'd give that curse to her in a heartbeat. Hey. Jillian. Aw, is that a new Squishmallow? Give it to me. You give that back right now. Hmm. No, I don't think I will. What is your problem with me? I know you tried to kill me on those train tracks. Maybe because I don't want you around anymore. Why? Because Blake was my boyfriend and he broke up with me because he likes you. I can't help who Blake likes and doesn't like, and you should- Cover your mouth. I don't want to hear anything from you. Mm. Sorry, I can't understand. What did you just do? Give me back my Squishmallow. Now. No, why did I- I gave you my curse. Permanently. Wait, what? What can I say, Jillian? Karma? It's a real bit. Happy birthday, we got you something. I think I know what it is. An iPhone 14 Hello, pencils. pencils. Really? Honey, they're magic pencils. Right. Class, write this down. Purple power unlocked. Hey babe, do you mind if we take a rain check on our date this week? Are you nervous? <laughs> what? what No, of course not. Are you hiding something from me? Crap, I can't do this anymore. I cheated on you, okay? I'm sorry. I feel so bad you and your boyfriend broke up. This tells me people's emotions. You're not sad. I don't know what you're talking about. She was jealous of us. I knew it. Hey, um, where's mom? She's outside with Coco giving her a lecture about listening. Coco, when mommy says stop, you say okay. I'm just a baby! Mom, you might not want to talk to her right now. But you still had to say okay, mom. I did you baby! I think today I'm gonna go with red. Red power unlocked. I get to see people's ages. Well, this will be interesting. Hey, good morning, girly. You're 20? What? How did you find out? Never mind that, but why are you still in high school? I failed. I got held back. Hey, it's okay. Your secret is safe with me. Hey, I'm new. Is it cool if I sit here? Yeah, of course. Thanks. So, how old are you? Me? Oh, uh, I just turned 17 about, like, uh, two months ago. Psst, hey, what? Do you believe in vampires? No, why? Because I think I'm sitting next to one. Huh? You're funny. I'm telling you, he's a hundred years old. Can you watch my bag? I gotta use the restroom. Yeah, sure. See, he's- Girl, what are you doing? Looking for evidence. Ew, what is that? I think this is- What the hell, dude? What are you doing with my stuff? What are you doing with my stuff? Well, I think the better question is, what are you doing with this? That's for my lunch. It's strawberry jam. Oh! <laughs> Can I have my stuff back? Yeah, sorry. Yesterday's power was kind of a disaster, so today I think I'm gonna go with green. Green power unlocked. Let's hope this power helps me figure out if that guy is a vampire or not. Hey, so I just wanted to apologize about yesterday. You're good. I actually think you're kind of cute. <laughs> How old did you say you were again? Seventeen. I'm throwing a party tonight. Wanna come? Yeah, sure. I would love that. Sweet. I'll airdrop you my address. Hey, you made it. Yeah, but where is everyone? They're on their way. Hey, Mom, this is the girl I was telling you about. Ooh, she looks beautifully delicious. Stop it. Really? I could just eat you. Oh, no. Try my punch, darling. The flavor is to die for. Get back. I'm leaving. Wait. I have two vampires after me. This calls for some extreme powers. What would happen if I just picked all of them? Are you sure you want to combine all the pencil's power? I have to. Wish mode activated. There you are. Please, don't be scared. I know you know I'm a vampire, and I'm sorry about lying about the party. Your mom was trying to... Kill me. I was just trying to hang out with you alone. I didn't realize she was going to act like that. She has bloodlust. I wish you were a vampire so you could understand. Wish granted. What just happened? I think you just turned me into a vampire. How is that even possible? Because I have a secret too, okay? I have magic colored pencils and I think you just used the last of their power. You don't have to worry about my mom killing you anymore. Thank you, because that makes me feel so much better. Hey, since I did this to you, I promise I'll protect you. I'll teach you how to be a great vampire.
Mom, what are these? Oh, honey, those are magic Easter cookies. Whatever cookie you choose to eat will give you a special power. It's a tough choice, but I think I gotta go with the bunny because it's so cute. Your magic bunny will now appear. It's a cute little bunny, and it's so soft, but what does it do? Well, guess I'm gonna find out. And what better place to discover this thing's power than at this Easter party that my mom is forcing me to go to? Hey, nice to see you. That's a cute rabbit. Thanks, I, um, I got it as a gift. Oh, okay, cool. He's in love with you. So, there's this concert coming up, and I was wondering- Will you just excuse me for a second? Uh, yeah, sure. Okay, well, I didn't expect this thing to talk to me. Honey! She's in love with your gardener. So, did you find out what the bunny's power does? No, no, I didn't. I need to go now. Okay, so I guess this little bunny tells me who people are in love with. My mom is in love with the gardener, and my best friend is in love with me. Hey, sweetie. Oh, hey, Dad. I've been looking for you. He's in love with your teacher. I found your first grade teacher here. Summer, is that you? Have a rich mom or a rich dad? Well, my dad left when I was eight, so I think we gotta go with rich dad. Especially because we need the money. That must be him. Hello. Dad? Huh? No offense, but I expected you to be dressed a little nicer than that. Gee, maybe it's because I'm the postman, not your dad. Sorry. I wonder what's in here. Holy... Mom. What? What is it, honey? I found you a new husband, and we're gonna be set for life. Did you sign me up for a dating show? No, Mom, I picked a rich dad, and just look in this envelope. There's $2,000 in here. I know. Isn't this great, Mom? I'm gonna have a dad again. Oh, honey. This letter shows he's a billionaire. He's never gonna visit us. I bet you that's him. Dad! We're looking for the daughter of a billionaire. Um, look, I can't see or I can't say bad words until I meet my soulmate. Guess you're going blind. What? Why? Oh, honey, you have a potty mouth. I do not. Mm-hmm. Look, I'm gonna prove to you that I can live without cussing. This is gonna be a piece of cake. Surprise attack! Ow! Mother father that hurt! <laughs> mother father? Why'd you say that? Because I can't cuss, dipshiz. I'm telling mom you're trying to say bad Wait, words. Wait, if you don't tell her, I'll uh, give you my favorite teddy bear. Mm, I don't know. Well, I do like that teddy bear. Okay. <laughs> Just kidding. Mom! Frick you! Whoops. <laughs> you little witch! <laughs> witch? Is that the best insult you can do? I can't cuss. Aw, can poor baby not cuss until she meets her soulmate? Oh, fudge off. Dude, she sounds like she's straight out of Disney Channel. <laughs> Oh, ow. Oh, damn it. I am so sorry. It's okay. Ah. Wait a minute. I just said a bad word. Yeah, so? Well, I'm not allowed to say bad words until I meet my... Soulmate. Share my soulmate's hair color or share my soulmate's eye color. I mean, I just got my highlights done and I don't really want to change it, so I think I'm going to share his eye color. Here goes nothing. Oh, honey, have you looked in the mirror? No, I... <gasps> I thought they were going to give me his eye color, not just one of his eye colors. Hey girl, why are you wearing sunglasses inside? No reason. Then why won't you look me in the eyes? Come on girl, we're besties, we're supposed to tell each other everything. Alright, you caught me, it's because I look like this, okay? Do you have any idea how I can get my eyes back to normal? I'm pretty sure you have to meet your soulmate. But that could take literally forever, I'm just going to keep these on for now. Hey! I am so sorry, it's really hard to see with these on, but having said that, you actually have really pretty eyes. Thank you. You have really nice brown eyes too. Well, thanks, but one is literally green right now. <laughs> uh, no it's not. My soulmate picks what decade I dress from, or what decade I eat from. I'm just gonna let him dress me. I mean, how bad can it be? Bye mom, I'm going to class. Honey, you haven't dressed like that since middle school. Oh, look at you. I wasn't wearing... What? Oh, sweetie. Did you let your soulmate dress you? Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm not wearing this to school. Why is this not coming off? You may not. Remove outfit. You gotta outfit. be kidding me. Honey, those low-rise jeans are not it. Pull them up. Thanks, Mom. What in the Mean Girls are you wearing? My soulmate decided what time period I dressed from, and he picked early 2000s. <laughs> Did the Hello Kitty give it away? 
Girl, we all picked the food option. What is wrong with you? Well, how long is this going to go on for? Pretty sure it's until we kiss our soulmates. What? No, that could take forever, and all my stuff are turning into things from the 2000s. I have a flip phone now. Yikes. Sucks to be you. Hey, mean girls called. They want their wardrobe back. <laughs> for the next outfit, please be present time. The year 3000. Oh, no. My soulmate picks my hair or my job for the day. I'm pretty particular with how I like my hair, so I think I'm going to go with job. Please pick me an easy job. Movie star. What the? Okay, I didn't exactly expect him to pick this job for me, and I'm not going to school dressed like this. Why isn't this coming off? You may not remove work outfit. Yeah, I should have picked the hair option. Hey guys. Oh my gosh. No way. Look, before you laugh, I know this outfit's a lot. But... I'm like your number one fan. Uh, you're definitely not. I am. Whoa. <laughs> Can you sign this for me? No, no me. me. Okay, let's all just calm down. <laughs> Oh, shit. Coffee mushrooms. I think I lost him. Excuse me, can, can you sign this for me? Oh, of course, sweetheart. What do you want me to say? Can you write the alphabet? But can you do it in Spanish? Oh, I don't really know how to do that, but I can sign my name. No, that's not what I wanted. No, 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 no. Please don't cry. Look, there's my autograph. No, I don't want it. Hey, look, this movie star is making this kid cry. No, no, no. She just wanted me to write this just in. Big time movie star makes little girl no, cry. No, I didn't. <laughs> okay, cut. That's a wrap. Guess we get to go home now. Thank God. Hey, question. I picked for my soulmate to pick my occupation for the day, but I kind of want that to stop happening. Oh, you have to meet your soulmate to make that stop. But I don't even know what his name is or where he lives. Uh-huh. Sounds like a you problem. Looks like we're doing this again. Mate. Oh, no, he did it. No. I needed a lot today. Aw, you poor thing. It's not fair. How come you guys always get so many more words than I do? Um, how are we supposed to know that? I don't know. Hey, Ella, don't forget I got a lot of chores for you to do after school. Okay, Fiona. And you better not be late this time. Mom, look, she already used up all her words. What do you expect? She's a blabbermouth. Here, that's for you. Chelsea, you're not supposed to give words. Shh, you're gonna waste them. They're for your big audition for the school play today. Come on, you've been waiting for this. Okay, okay. Yes. Thank you. Of course. Now go show them what you got. I can be who you want me to be. Okay, that's enough. Thank you. We don't need to hear any more. You got the part. Wait, are you serious? Yeah, you're exactly what we're looking for. There you are. Mom's been trying to call... How did you get more words? I... Oh, I'm so telling, Mom. Come here. I found her, Mom. Let go. Mom! What? What do you want? I found Ella, and she got more words. What are you talking about? She doesn't have any words. She got more, I swear. What are you smiling about? Get to your chores. Mom, you have to believe me. Someone gave her words. No, I know, honey. I heard her talking. That's why I'm gonna have you spy on her tomorrow at school. Oh, and this way she won't suspect anything. Exactly. Something's going on with her. And I'm gonna find out what it is. Yes, I haven't gotten this many words since... my dad passed away. I'm pleased to announce we have finally casted our prince for the play. Hi. I'm Adam. Save your words, Adam. We're going to be rehearsing the first part of the song right now. That was great. One moment. We need to fix the mics. Hey, did they cast the captain of the football team as the prince? Oh, you must have used up all your words in the play rehearsal. Here, I need the tea. Come on, what happened? Okay, so basically he was looking at me the whole time and like you... I won't go breaking. Nice voice. Fiona, you weren't supposed to be home until- Until later? I got off early today. How do you have so many words, hon? I just got a lot of words today. Or did someone give you a lot of words? Like your friend Chelsea, so you could spill the tea to her about the play? How did you know that I- oh, I think that's enough talking from her today, don't you? <laughs> yes, Mom. I think it's time she learns the truth. Sit down and look up. Surprise! I've been controlling your words. I really thought she was going to catch on, but she never did. All of this time, you've been taking my words? How could you do that, you- Eh-eh. 
That's enough. You always got so many more words than I did, and it just wasn't fair. You outshine my daughter with your words, so I took that away. And now you're trying to outshine her by being the lead in the play? Well, that's not gonna happen. So, if you ever wanna talk again, you're gonna do as we say. Hey, you. Aw, you're all out of words again. Here, take some. What's wrong? I can't be friends with you anymore, and if you give me words again, I'm going to report you. What? Ella, how could you say that? Wait! You ready, honey? Oh, I'm ready. Your stepsister's pretending to have your voice, so you better make it good. I won't go breaking your heart. Wow, you sound just like Ella. If anything happens to her, you will go up on stage for the play. Oh my gosh, okay. Thank you, sounds good. I'm so proud of you, honey. Thanks. What? I need to use the restroom. Hurry up, I want to go home. You have five minutes. There, go. Ella, there you are. I wanted to check on you. You didn't seem like yourself today. You, you need help? You don't have any words. Ella, what are you doing? Come here. Get in the car. Wait, she seemed a little distressed today. Oh, I think she's coming down with a cold. But our play is tomorrow. Don't worry. If she's sick, her stepsister will perform for her. Now let's go. Okay, here's some words. Now, Lacey, you practice lip sync into Ella's voice. Ella, start singing. No. What did you what say? Did you say? I'm not going to let her get credit for my singing voice. I'm going to take away all your words again. Okay. okay. Do it. You little brat! I don't need you. Don't go breaking my heart. See, I can sing myself. Yeah, good luck with that. Ugh. You know what? I'm going to talk to Adam. Hold it. You're not talking to anybody. You don't want to cooperate? So you're going to stay in this room forever? No, no, please. <laughs> Bye, Ella. Mom, take away her words. It's done. Now no one can hear her. Ella, are you home? I snuck in through your back door. I really hope you're here. <gasps> I really hope that's you. Okay, I'm coming. Ella! Let me guess, your stepmother locked you in here and took away your words? Ugh, I knew it. I got a million words today. You can have some of mine. Thanks. Chelsea, I'm so sorry. It's okay. I bet Fiona was forcing you to say all that mean stuff, huh? Well, right now, your stepsister's putting on your costume. She's gonna go on instead of you. But she can't even sing. Tell me about it. I heard her practicing. You gotta do something. You know what? You're right. Come on. Let's go. I won't go breaking your heart. This play is a disaster. We need Ella. Well, lucky for you, Adam, she's right here. Hey, cut Lacey's mic and cue the music again. Don't go breaking my heart. I couldn't if I tried. Oh, honey, if I get restless. Hey, my dad wants to offer you a scholarship to his college. Wait, really? Yeah, he's like the head of this performing arts university, and he thinks you're really talented. But how's she gonna sing without a voice? <laughs> Whoa, did you just take her words? Yeah, Adam, they did, and they've been doing it. They're right over there, officer. You two are under arrest for word thievery. No! Just stop it! And since you stole from her, she gets all your words. Get a winning lottery ticket or give a winning lottery ticket. I mean, my parents, they're already millionaires, but a little extra cash never hurt. Excuse me, do you have any money? My parents abandoned me and... I'm sorry, I, I shouldn't have bothered you. Wait! He needs this. I pick this one. Hey, wait up! Dude, wait. What's what's that on the floor over there? Huh? What the heck? What is this? It looks like a lottery ticket. You should probably scratch it, you know, and see if you won anything. You think? Okay. No way. No freaking way! I won! Well, congrats. You should probably go cash that in. I just won a million dollars. <laughs> what was your name? Uh, my name's Jace. I'm Lindsay. It's really nice to meet you. Did you hear about the super attractive guy that transferred here? No. It doesn't matter. Rachel snatched him up anyways. Of course she did. She literally gets all the guys. Surprise! Hey! <laughs> <laughs> Wait. Jace? Huh? Are you his friend? Well, I thought he was my friend. I just met her. Hey, what's this? That's not funny. This is special to me. Let go! Relax. No, dude, let go! Aw, oh, poor baby. Whatever, she's no fun. Who wants to go shopping at Gucci with me? Me, me. I do. What happened to you? What can I say? Money changes people. I need to talk to you. Um, sorry. Jace is busy. Back off, Rachel. This is important. Listen, the only reason that you're rich, Jace, is because of me. <laughs> I'm being serious. You saw something on the floor and told me to look. That's it. I was the one that got the ticket for you and put it for you on the floor. Girl, you need to stop lying. It's embarrassing. It says it above my head. Oh, you want to know what sucks? Only you can see that. You're in love with Jace at minute. I am not. Right, so all this is not you trying to get his attention? Girl, be for real. Yo, Jace. What's up? 
Looks like Lindsay was telling the truth. Check out this video. Dude, wait. What's what's that on the floor over there? Huh? So she did throw the lottery ticket on the floor for me? Yeah. Damn it. I gotta go talk to her. Jace, it looks like she needs water. Maybe give her this? Yeah, okay. Hey, I saw the viral video. I'm really sorry. So what you're saying is it took video proof for you to believe me? Nice. Wait, I want to make it up to you. I literally owe you big time. I'll buy you anything. I don't know. Don't you want to go hang with Rachel and all her friends? Not really. Uh-huh. Well, I'm going to go get some water. Hang on. It's funny you say that, because I have some right here. Are you sure that this was just water? I mean, yeah, Rachel gave it to me. Rachel? What? Yeah, she just said you looked thirsty. Girly Pop, that's my water. I hope you don't mind it has lemon. Lemon? But I'm allergic to lemon. What? Girly Pop, that's my water. I hope you don't mind it has lemon. Lemon? But I'm allergic to lemon. What? She is not. I've seen her drink lemonade. Rachel, she's obviously having a reaction. Girl, you don't have like an EpiPen or something? No, I, I didn't bring mine today. Well, that was dumb. I'm gonna go see if I can find a teacher. Rachel, hurry. It's getting really hard for me to breathe. Where the heck did Rachel go? She's supposed to be getting help. Jeez, I can barely breathe. Okay, we gotta get you help. There's a hospital down the street. Come on. Someone please help. She's having an allergic reaction. Bring her over here. We'll take care of her. This way, hurry. Jace. Lindsay? Oh, thank God you're okay. The doctor said that I'm free to walk around for a little bit. Oh, good. Do you need me to call your parents or anything? No, I've already tried. My parents are both actors, and they're on a plane right now to Spain to shoot a movie. Oh, well, whoa. Sorry. It's okay. You should probably go back and sit down. Yeah, probably. Easy now. And I want you to know I'm covering all your medical bills. You didn't have to- It's the least that I can do, Lindsay. Really. Also, I brought this for you. I remember you said it was special to you. Thanks. I also got you a few things, too. Those enough? Because I could buy more. Yeah, I think I think this is good. Thank you. Hey, you made me a millionaire. I literally owe you everything. And I'm sorry. Hey, get back here. <sighs> Officer, wait, see? She's fine. I don't need to go to Juvie. Jeez, help me out. Sorry, Rachel. Really hope you learn your lesson. Come on, let's get out of here. Uh, no. Really, guys? You got me a paint set for my birthday? Sweetheart, that is a special paint set. This thing doesn't even come with a paintbrush. Press a color. Um, okay... What is 13 times 379? 4,927. Excuse me? What the? I believe that's the answer. 4,927. That's right. Oh, what, what the hell? You didn't use a calculator. How did you... This power is making me super smart. Want to ditch class and go to the mall? Yeah, but the probability of us getting caught is like 80%. I'll take my chances, Einstein. Let's go to the American Girl store. Okay. Aw, look at the cute girl and her doll. Hey, kid, did you know that American Girl dolls were invented in 1986? I think I know more about American Girl yeah. dolls than you do, You'll never get to any American Girl dolls. Pick a color. Hmm, I think I'm gonna pick red today. Oh, I'm gonna fail this test. Hey, chill. Whoa. What? Are you by any chance wanting to become a doctor? How do you know that? Yeah, you know what? I just had this feeling, and uh, I would not sweat that test if I were you. You're gonna be just fine. I heard you could see the future. Sorry, I really don't know what you're talking about. Actually, give me your hand. What did you say your name was? Adrian. Why? Well, you could have this back. And just, um, stay away from me. Please tell me my future. Fine, but you're the last one I'm doing today. No pomegranate. No pomegranate. No! No, 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 no! No pomegranate! What? What did you see? On Wednesdays, we wear pink. Sweetheart, Fluffy needs a bath. No way, that dog does not like me. Yes, she does. <laughs> see? You see? <laughs> Hold her! No, no, no! Oh, Why did you never do this to me before? Hey, Darren, I think you left your phone in class. Oh, jeez, thanks. I... I love you. What? Yeah, will you please be my girlfriend? Yes. I mean... Yes. I think this power makes anyone I touch fall in love with me. Sweetheart, I brought the team over for dinner. Please shake everyone's hand. Introduce yourself. 
Oh no, I don't think that's a good idea. Too stuck up to shake our hands? No, it's not that, I just... Uh -huh. That's rude, bruh. You know what? Fine. Nice to meet you. Why are you guys looking at me like that? Three, two, one. Happy New Year! Let's reveal our marks. Okay, you go first. Kay. You got red. Ugh, phew. All right, my turn. Oh, shit. What? Just look at this mirror. <sighs> you got purple. I don't think this is a good idea. Shh, stay still. Yeah, that's the best I can do. Look, who said being gifted is a bad thing? I mean, do we really need to change my mark? Yes, I heard rumors about what might happen to the gifted people, and it's really not good. This just in, all the purple marks will be taken in by the government for experimentation. As they could be a potential threat to normals, and therefore need to be examined by professionals. Honey, let's go, we're late. W where are we going? Lizzie, it's time for the mark check. That's today? Yes, let's go. See ya, Mark. It's smeared. Uh, yeah, it just appeared like that. Mm-hmm. We have a code 52. What's a code 52? No questions. Come with me. Just as I thought. You should have done a better job with the makeup. Well, actually, my friend did it. Right. Blame it all on your friend. <sighs> but she did. Don't get her angry. We don't know what she's capable of. Fine. Prepare the scanner. Scanner? Quiet. No talking, please. Turn your head to the side and stay still. Scanning. Level 10. Oh my gosh. What does that mean? She must be the one. It can't be. Quick, someone get her a room and get her labeled now. What is going on and why is there a 10 on my neck? It's the danger level of your powers. Powers? What do you mean by powers? Everyone with a purple mark has been gifted with powers. You have them too. I do? Mm-hmm. Now prepare her for testing. Welcome to the testing room. We will now determine what power you have. There's been a mistake. I don't have powers. Of course you do. They just haven't been activated. Well, how does that happen? We found that it happens during a time of distress. Okay, now that's on. Let's try mind reading. This is ridiculous. Just say what number you think I'm thinking of. I don't know, uh, two. Wrong. Ow! So sorry, but this is part of the process. Ten? No, wrong again. No, please. I'm telling you guys, I don't have mind reading. Look, it's been half an hour. Probably should give her a break. No, we have to keep going. No, she needs to rest. Would both of you just be quiet? Time to finally find out my soulmate status. He's engaged. Hey, did you find out your soulmate status? Yeah, I did. Girl, me too. Mine is single. Oh my gosh, you guys, this is so embarrassing, but mine literally has a girlfriend. Are you okay with that? Yeah, I mean, it's not like he's engaged or something. <laughs> oh my gosh, imagine. <laughs> what are you doing? I was just cleaning my closet. Uh-huh. I just got a call from your school today saying that you failed a test. Yeah, it's because I was a little bit distracted today. I'm sorry, I... Go do your homework right now. This is ridiculous. I'm sure he wouldn't mind if I went onto YouTube for like one minute. Royal Prince speaks out about being forced into arranged marriage. How shall I marry this woman when my soulmate is still out there? Damn, arranged marriages really suck. Hey, I can't really talk right now. My stepdad's gonna... Forget about him! Haven't you heard the news? The prince left his kingdom. He's looking for his soulmate. Rumor has it, the prince is headed this way. Listen, if I tell you something, do you promise not to tell anyone else? Yeah, of course. Okay, my soulmate's status says engaged. It does? Wait, the prince is engaged. I know, so do you think him and I might be... Soulmates? Come on, get real. You and the prince? <laughs> yeah, right. Hey, I heard a prince is coming into our town. Yeah, I heard that too. You stay clear of him, understood? Wait, why? Because I said so. Now get to school. I don't want you being late. What is going on? Why is everyone in the hallway? Oh my god, shut up! The prince is here. Look! Hello, everyone. I have been informed that my soulmate might be at this very school. That is why I'm breaking off my engagement in hopes to find her. Can you believe the prince is single now? Yeah, that's really crazy. Are you okay? Excuse me for a second. Hey, did you leave school early yesterday? Yeah, I kind of got overwhelmed. The prince was there. What? He was? Yeah. Did you talk to him? Why do you care if I talk to him? You don't even know who he is. 
I know more than you understand. The prince is interviewing girls today. He is? Yeah, he's trying to find out which girl is his soulmate. But how's he going to know which one's the right girl? He said he'll just know. Isn't that so romantic? Mm-hmm. I've interviewed at least 60 girls today, and not one of them was my soulmate. Are you sure, Saya? Yes, trust me. When I find the right girl, I'll know. Excuse me, Your Highness. Ahem. <clears throat> the prince is done with interviews for today. You can come back again tomorrow. No, no, wait just a moment. I think I want to make time for this girl. What's your name, love? My name is Heaven. That's a beautiful name. My name is Henry. Prince Henry of Onnington. Thank you, Mildred. You may leave us now. I can't believe we have so much in common. Tell me, Heaven, are you close with your parents? Actually, both of my biological parents passed away. I'm so sorry. It's all right. I live with my stepdad now. Oh, I see. Listen, Henry, the reason why I think you and I are soulmates is because when you said you were ending your engagement... Your Highness, I must talk to you. <clears throat> in private. We saw you talking to the prince. Yeah, he had to go. But he said he's going to meet me again tomorrow. Really? <laughs> How exciting. Yeah. I can't wait to see him today. What? Why are you looking so sad, Heaven? No reason. Come on, she's obviously upset about the prince. You heard about his engagement being back on, huh? Yeah. Aw, she really liked him, didn't she? <laughs> Sorry to crush your dreams, but I heard his father locked him in his castle. Not like you had a chance with him anyways. <laughs> Psst, Heaven, over here. Don't cry, love. Henry? Hey, I don't have much time. I escaped the castle. The guards are looking for me. I don't know. Maybe you should go back. After all, you are engaged. Heaven, it's not by choice. My father is blackmailing me. Wait, what? Why would he do that? I don't have much time. Here, meet me back here tomorrow at five. Henry, I... Please, love. We have more we need to discuss. All right, fine. I'll be here. You think you can get away with lying? I told you not to talk to the prince. How do you... Your friend sent me some photos of you talking to him. Do you think that just because I'm your stepfather, you don't have to listen to me? That's not it at all. It's just that I know he's my soulmate. Oh, really? Yes, and I'm meeting him tonight. Absolutely not. What do you have against the prince? You know what, Ben? I'm going, and you can't stop me. I said no, Heaven. You're not going. Ben, let me out. It's for your own good, Heaven. This just in, the search for Prince Henry continues. I'm sorry for standing you up, Henry. Ben, I'm hungry. Can I please have something to eat? Hello? Heaven? Heaven, are you there? Henry! Henry, up here! Heaven, there you are. How did you find me? I asked some of your classmates where you lived. Hang on, I'm coming up. Okay. Ugh. So your stepfather locked you in here? He's trying to keep me away from you, but I don't know why. Wait, is this a picture of him? Yeah. Uh-oh. What? Heaven, he's one of my father's biggest enemies. He hates my whole family. We have to get out of here. Where is your stepfather now? I don't know. I'm right here. Oh. <laughs> Come on, we're leaving. Heaven, get back here. No. Oh, oh my gosh, Henry. <laughs> what? Where's Ben? Don't worry, I took care of him. I'm gonna get you help, okay? Oh. <sighs> Please tell me he's gonna be okay. Yes, the doctor said he expects him to make a full recovery. Can I see him? Mm, his fiance is already on her way, so I think it's best if you just wait out here. Absolutely not. Your, your majesty. My son's engagement to that woman is over. I'm no longer enforcing it. I had no idea his true soulmate was so brave. I'm so sorry about all of this. It is a pleasure to meet you, my dear. I can't thank you enough for saving my son. Oh, really? He was the one saving me. Well, I can assure you your stepfather won't be bothering you again. Now come, dear. Let's go see Henry. I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss the bride. Wait, love. Check his status. Finally. Air? Wait, does this mean I'm not getting superpowers? Hi, honey. Oh, hi. So, did you get your power? Uh... Oh, I bet you got invisibility like me. No, I bet she got my super strength. Right, sweetheart? Guys, I actually need to get to class, so I'll talk to you later, okay? Class, line up in the gym for your power assessment. <sighs> I'm so done for. Okay, state your name and your power. 
it's Sarah Steelman and my power. Hold on. You're Steelman's kid? Yeah. It is a pleasure to meet you. I am a big fan of your parents. Bet you got an awesome power. Actually, my power hasn't exactly come in yet. <laughs> You're 18. That's impossible. I know, but it says air. That, my dear, is not normal. I'm going to send you to the nurse to have you looked at. Everything looks fine. Maybe you're just a late bloomer. Wait, it's loading again. An infinity symbol? What does that I've mean? I've never seen a symbol like that. It's me. Mom? I knew you'd remember. Don't listen to her. Listen to me. Stop! That's enough. <laughs> Are you guys sure I didn't hurt you? Yes, honey, we were more worried about you. I'm fine, but the teachers, Cal captured all of them. We have to save them. Do you know where they are? I think so. Come on. Thank you so much for saving us. Are you sure everyone's okay? We're all right, but the kids that did this to us are still out there. Wait, guys, Cal, we shouldn't have just left him knocked out. You're right. You shouldn't have. Don't look at his eyes. Sarah, I know you want to look at me. Look at me now. You want to listen. No! Say laser vision. Laser vision. <laughs> now take them out. Sarah, don't. Honey, you know us. We're your parents. You would never do this. Do it now, Sarah. No, I am done listening to you. Freeze breath. <laughs> Not so tough when you're frozen solid, now are you? Cal, Gabby, and their voice-stealing friend have all been locked up. Glad to hear that. Honey, I'm so proud of you. Well, you shouldn't be, because I'm a literal idiot. What? Sarah, why would you say that? I had a bad feeling about Cal since the beginning, but I just ignored it because I wanted a guy to like me. But of course, he was just using me the whole time. Oh, sweetheart, you're young. You're gonna make mistakes. But you're right. You should have been more careful. But what's important is that you fixed your mistake, which shows us that you're on your way to becoming a real hero. So we got you something. Surprise! My own super suit? Yep, for after you graduate. Aw, thanks, guys. Now we just gotta think of a name for you. Hmm, how about Infinity Girl? Oh, I like that! But remember, Sarah, with great power comes great responsibility. Dad, you stole that from Spider-Man. I know, but it's such a good quote. <laughs> this isn't over, Sarah. Mom! What? Where's my super suit? What? Where is my super suit? Oh, I, uh, put it away. Where? Why do you need to know? I need it. People are literally in danger right now. Your college application is in danger. It's due tomorrow and you haven't even started. Mom, I already told you I don't want to go to Super 10 University. Now if you'll excuse me... Sarah? Super speed. <laughs> Hurry up and give us the money. Not so fast. Hey, we got company. Who the hell are you? I would be Infinity Girl and you two are about to be knocked out. Get her! Force field. I'm all out. Me too. Telekinesis. Uh, oh. Hey, put us down. Okay, whatever you say. <coughs> Good, you're back. We need you to babysit. Oh, no, I can't. Yes, you need bonding time with your new baby sister. Looks like it's just you and me, Safina. <laughs> what the? She was just right here. Where did she... <laughs> How are you? Oh my gosh, are you okay? How did you even do that? People aren't supposed to get their powers until they're 18. Are you sure she did that? Yes, and she'll probably do it again. Just give her a second. Well, she's asleep right now, but I'll wake her up and- Oh no, you don't. I think you need some rest. Why don't you hand your baby sister over to me? Where are you off to? To a fire on Hero Drive. Some people might be trapped in a building. Oh, do you want us to come with you? Nah, guys, I think I'm good. My freeze breath should have that fire out in no time. Teleportation. <laughs> Look who's back. Are you okay? Yeah, I was able to save everyone, but I got a little burned in the process. Oh, honey, let me see it. Ow, mom, what are you- Hey, Sarah. Long time no see. <laughs> Cute baby sister you got here. You put her down right now. No, I don't think I will. What did you do to me? You'll see soon enough. Mom, Dad, stop him. He's gonna take Safina. Your family is under my control. Go to sleep, Safina. Here's the teleportation device. Dad! Thanks, Mr. Steelman. Of course. Super strength. What? <laughs> Bye, Sarah. No! We have to find her. There's no telling what he'll do to her. We will. Sarah, are your powers working? Shape-shifting. Nope. 
Whatever weapon he hit me with must have taken my powers. We're going to get your powers back, but first we have to find Safina. You're right, let's go. No way. You can't come without powers. But guys, I can still fight. No, not as well as your mom and I, and I am not letting anything happen to you too. They're gonna need my help, I just know it. <coughs> Safina? <coughs> hey, kid. Hey, coach. Did you get that power yet? Yeah, I, I did. Ah, I knew you'd get it. What is it? Well, that's the thing. I don't exactly know what my power means yet, and uh, neither did the nurse. Aw, oh, kid, I hate to do this to you, but until you figure out what your power is, I'm putting you with the sidekicks. Sidekicks? No, no, my parents won't. Hey, sorry, Steelman, it's not my rule. Hey, sidekick, nice drink. Mind if I have some? Hey, Gabby, knock it off. No powers outside of class. Aw, is someone upset because I don't have a power? I do too have a power, I just don't know what it means yet. Right, you just keep telling yourself that. <sighs> I really need to find out what this symbol means. Why couldn't I have just gotten super strength or something? Hey, give me your money. Hey, I said give me your money. Get over the money. Why don't you come take it from me? Aw, that's cute. You really think you can- Aw, oh, I think it broke my jaw. <laughs> How did I just do that? This is so weird. Wait, do I get any power I want just by saying it out loud? Okay, let's test this theory. X-ray vision. Hi, honey. We got you a gift for your 18th birthday. You guys got me a Gucci bag? Yeah. How'd you know that, sweetheart? It's in the package. Well, there's something I need to tell you. So your symbol means you have infinite powers? Yes. Coach, watch this. Think of a color. Mind reading. <laughs> You're thinking of blue. Yeah, that's amazing. Can you think of any power and then you get it? Well, I have to actually say it out loud, but yeah. Well, Stillman, I'm impressed. I'm putting you with the heroes. Yes, thank you. It's my pleasure, Stillman, but be careful. With a power like that, people are going to be very jealous. Are you sure? Yes, she's the one. We are so proud of you for getting put in the hero class. You guys have to go, huh? Yeah, sorry, sweetheart. There's a robbery three blocks down. Wait, can I come? No, honey. You can't legally fight crime until you graduate. That's right. Oh, come on. I can help you guys. I know. Just not yet. Sup, Steelman. Oh. <laughs> Whoops. Telekinesis. <laughs> oh, you little. <laughs> That's it. Come here. Freeze breath. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> You're OP, Steelman. This isn't fair. Class, open your books to page 104. We'll be learning how to outsmart a villain. Hey, mind if I share the book with you? Yeah, sure. Thanks, I'm new, so... Wait a minute, aren't you Steelman's kid? Uh, yeah. For real? Damn, your parents are so cool. So I've been told. <laughs> hey, would you, uh, want to maybe hang out sometime? You are not going on that date. Dad, honey, let her live a little. He could be a supervillain for all we know. He's not a supervillain. He's in my class. What's his name? Cal. And his last name? I didn't ask his last name. Dad, come on. You're going to make me late. Babe. Fine. But I want you back by eight. Okay, I will. Thanks. I am not going to be late to this date. Super speed. <laughs> hey. Hey. Trying out that super speed, I see. <laughs> So you're invincible, huh? Not exactly. Each power I say only lasts for 20 minutes, then I go back to normal. What would happen if you couldn't talk? What do you mean? Like if someone covered your mouth, or uh, you lost your voice. Well, then I guess I'd be stuck as normal, but why do you ask that? Oh, no, I was just wondering. Anyways, uh, you know, prom's coming up. Would you maybe want to go together? Oh, I don't think my parents would. Let you? Come on, Sarah, you're 18. Hey, maybe if I introduce myself to them, they'll be okay with it. So, Cal, tell me, what's your power? Oh, Mr. Steelman, my power is kind of lame. Oh, come on, what is it? I can glow in the dark. Wow. So you're a sidekick, huh? Dad. <laughs> it's okay. Yes, sir, I am. Actually, I like that power. It's very... Safe. I won't have to worry about you, Cal. <laughs> I think my parents kind of warmed up to you. Yeah, that was a relief. So, I'll pick you up at 8 for prom then? Okay, yeah. You look beautiful, sweetheart. Gorgeous. Oh, thanks, guys. But we want you to take this. Here. A uh, bracelet? Emergency locator. If anything goes wrong, you press that and we'll be there. Thanks. Ready to go? Yeah, I think... 
Wait, I forgot my purse. Hold on, let me go super speed up there and then I'll go- No! Don't use your powers right now, okay? Excuse me? Why don't you want me using my powers? I just thought that we could be normal for a little bit, but I'm so sorry. I shouldn't have yelled at you like that. Go ahead and get your purse. It's okay. I, I don't even need my purse, actually. Let's just go. I'm gonna go get us some punch. Oh, okay. Sarah, have you seen the teachers? No, why? They're supposed to be here, but I can't find any of them. They're probably just running late. Sarah, come here. I want to show you something. Wait, where are we going? I want to take you somewhere private. Oh. Wait, did you hear that? No, what? Never mind. Come on, I know a nice spot for us. Are you cold? Maybe just a little bit. Aw, here, take my jacket. Oh, actually, no need. Flame hands. <laughs> Sarah, baby, remember I told you not to use your powers? Sorry, I just thought that- Shh. Do you remember what I told you my power was? Yeah, you said you had the power to glow in the dark. <laughs> I lied. You lied to me about your power? Of course. Did you really think I was a sidekick? Oh, well, yeah. Wow, you are so gullible. That's it. I'm getting my parents. <laughs> are you looking for this? <laughs> Hi, Sarah. Hey, babe. Babe, you two are dating? Gabby, do it now. With pleasure. Mm. I can't hold her like that for mm. long. Where's your friend, Gabby? She's supposed to be here. Mm. <sighs> Relax, I'm here. Cal, what is going on? Do it! Super! That's your voice. Don't try to talk, Sarah. Just look at me. Nighty night, Sarah. <laughs> oh, good. You're awake. Don't be scared, Sarah. It's just a mask. It's me, Cal. Now it's time for me to get revenge on your parents. Give her her voice back. She's ready. Aren't you going to eliminate your parents? Then all the teachers. Hey, Mom. Hey, Dad. You're back early. Where's Cal? Oh, he's right there. Hey, Mr. Steelman. Cal, what's going on? I'm getting my revenge. Don't you recognize this mask? It was my father's before you killed him. Now, Sarah, tell him what you're gonna do. I'm going to eliminate both of you. Honey, he must have mind-controlled her. Telekinesis. <laughs> Sarah, put that down. <sighs> Sarah, stop it. She only listens to me now. Oh, Mom, where'd you go? Sarah, listen to me. You are stronger than this. Teleportation. <laughs> Wait! Mom, where are you? I thought I heard you over here. Flame hand. <laughs> There's no sense in hiding. Found you. <laughs> Just show yourself and this all can stop. Listen to me. You know me. My best friend controls my bank account or my hand. Yeah, I don't need her making me go broke. She's out of town, so I wonder how this is gonna work. Incoming call. Oh, it's her. Hey. Girl, I can see and hear everything you do. You can? Yeah. This is so weird. Don't worry, I won't make you do anything bad. You may now begin your test. What are you doing? I swear, I'm not trying to do this. Maya, why would you do something like that? Revenge? For what? You need to see this. What is this? A picture of you and Maya's boyfriend, and it looks like you're holding hands. What? Yeah, it's been sent out to the whole school. Maya, I swear, this isn't what it looks like. I can't believe her. I'm gonna make her week a living hell. Maya, yeah, listen, I wasn't cheating with your boyfriend. I was just... Mm. I don't want to hear her excuses. I saw the photo. They were clearly holding hands. Are you okay? No, my best friend is controlling my hand today and she's super mad at me. Dang, it sucks to be you. <laughs> yeah, can't say I disagree. Maya, if you would just let me explain- Excuse me, you need to pay attention. I take Jim very seriously. Of course, uh, so do I, coach. Are you mocking me, Miss Missouri? No, sir. <sighs> oh, you think you're funny, huh? Go run five laps. No, but I- Uh-uh-uh, don't want to hear it. Let's go. <sighs> oh, man. Oh my gosh, I'm so thirsty. Here, you can have my water. Oh, thank you. Thanks again for the water. No problem. <gasps> what the? That's what you get for being a bad friend. Uh, all week you've been causing me trouble, and any time I try and explain what happened with your boyfriend, you... Mm. You do that. I don't care what you have to say anymore. 
I can't trust you. Oh, and I see her crush is coming near. Oh no, Nate, Maya, please, I'm begging you, don't- Hey, uh, how are you doing? Good, great, actually. Sweet, well, you know, prom's coming up, right? Yeah. I was wondering if you- <laughs> Nate? She just knocked out Nate. No, no, I would never. My friend is controlling my hand. Principal's office now. Listen, this is all just a big misunderstanding. Great, they put handcuffs on her. Now I can't control her hand. What do you mean she's your sign language instructor? Wait, so that's why she was touching your hand? Why didn't you call me sooner? She's about to get arrested. Take her downtown. No, please wait. Stop. I was controlling her officers. She's innocent. My mom, I'm going to class. Wait, let me see your neck. Why didn't you put on the makeup? I ran out. Oh, great. Well, looks like you're not going to school. What? Come on, it's so small. I can cover it with my hair and no one's even going to notice. I said no. You know what will happen if people see that mark. They'll start to ask questions. And I'll get taken away. I know. I'll buy you makeup when I get back. I love you. I love you more. I love you most. See you after work. I had a big test today, and I'm not supposed to miss it. No one's going to notice this. I'll just take the test and come right back. Great job on your test today. Thanks. Hey, what's that on your neck? <gasps> I've seen that mark before. Let me see. Yes, that mark, it means you're royalty. What? You must be the lost princess. Legend says you have powers. Powers? What? No, I know what you're trying to do. You're trying to trick me so you can take me away. Well, that's not going to happen. I'm home. What's wrong? Something happened. Who else saw the mark? Just that teacher, but she said something about me being a lost princess. <laughs> you, a princess, please. Just look at your chubby little face. You look nothing like royalty. Ah, <sighs> You must never go outside again. Never? Yes, you've been exposed. It's much too dangerous now. Don't be so sad, dear. I know. I'll go get you some food. You just relax. Watch some TV. This just in, a teenage boy is on the run from the cops today after allegedly stealing a crown from the royal family. Mom? Mom? Jeez, who designed these locks? <gasps> that is definitely not Mom. He's probably here for my mark. Good thing I have some more makeup. Whoa, wasn't expecting anyone to be home, but hey. Stay back. I'm warning you. I'm highly trained in the art of... Origami. Isn't that paper folding? I was kind of hoping you wouldn't know what that was. Relax, dollface. I'm not here to hurt you. I'm here to stash something. So, if you'll excuse me. I just knocked him out. I just knocked him out. I wonder what he was trying to stash. A crown. This must be from the royal family. <gasps> Mom's home. I gotta hide him. Riley, I'm tired. Please give me a hand massage. I will, but after. Right now, I wanted to tell you that you don't have to worry about me going outside anymore. I told you it's too dangerous. <sighs> no, Mom, I can protect myself because I just... Enough! Now I'm the bad guy. You didn't have to yell. I'm so sorry, Riley. I've just been so stressed out trying to keep you safe. I really need that massage. Do you feel better now? Yes, thank you. You always make me feel better, dear. Now, do you promise you won't try and go outside? I promise. I, I don't know what I was thinking. That's a good girl. Well, I'm off to my date, and if all goes well, I might just bring you home a new father. <laughs> okay, um, wake up. <sighs> Whoa, what the? Did you tape me to this chair? Actually, yes. I did, but I'll be asking the questions here. I want to know why you have this. Hey, you went into my bag? You went into my house. Listen, I didn't want to have to do this, but you give me no choice. I'm gonna have to do the look. Huh, that, uh, usually makes the girls go crazy. What's that on your neck? <gasps> the makeup must have come off. Well, here's your bag back. Thank you. Ugh. Hey, are you okay? Yeah, I'm, I'm fine. Oh no, your bump got worse. No, it's fine, really. Hey, just let me see it. What the? It's gone. How'd you do that? I don't know. Wait, the X on your neck, healing powers? You're the lost princess. Why does everyone keep saying that? I look nothing like royalty. Have you seen my face? Yeah, I'm looking at it. That's why I call you Dollface, because you're cute. What's your real name? Riley. Well, Riley, everyone knows that the royal family had a daughter that went missing 18 years ago. And how old are you? 18. 
Listen, I think you may have been kidnapped. No, I know my mom, and she would never do something like that. Is that your mom in that photo? Yeah. She looks nothing like you. You should come with me. I'm pretty sure that you're in- Ugh. She's not going anywhere. <coughs> now I'm the bad guy. <laughs> Please let it be a new car. I really need a new car. A necklace? You know what? Maybe it'll be a diamond necklace. I mean, it's not a diamond necklace, but it's kind of cute, I guess. Guess my gift. I got a brand new car. Really? That's great. I know. So what'd you get? I got, um, spiders. What? Where? Where did you put them? <gasps> Whoa, chill. There's no spiders. <sighs> oh my gosh. Okay, I'm sorry. It's just that I'm super afraid of them. Does this thing tell me what people are afraid of or something? So for dinner, I was thinking we could go to... what? You're cheating on me? Uh, I, uh... We're done. Babe, but I... Uh, mm-mm. We're done. Hey, is mom back home yet? No. What's wrong? Well, I've had a horrible day and I just wanted to talk to... You good? You're pregnant? How do you... How did you find out? You found my pregnancy test, didn't you? Were you snooping in my room? No, I, I swear I wasn't. Really? Well, then how do you know? I have my ways, but don't turn this around on me. You're the one who did the dirty. Shut up! I never meant for this to happen. Didn't you say your boyfriend moved out of state? Yeah, because of this. Really? Yes, he took off as soon as he found out the news. I told you, he wasn't a good guy. I know. What am I going to do? Look, I think that your first step is for you to tell mom the truth. Mom's plane just landed. She's gonna be here in 30 minutes. Ugh, I'm so nervous. Hey, we're gonna tell her together, okay? Hey, girls! Did you miss me? We did, but listen, um, Jenna has something she needs to tell you. Okay, what, Jenna? Well, Mom, uh, I don't know how to say this, but I... She's not feeling well, like, at all, so, um, I'm gonna go take her into my room and, uh, go take care of her. What are you doing? Ow! You think mom kidnapped us because the magic necklace told you so? Yes. Well, it didn't say kidnapped exactly. It just said that we weren't her kids. Come on. What if we're adopted? Why wouldn't she tell us that then? We're basically both adults now. This is ridiculous. I'm going to go talk to her. No, Jenna, wait. Mom, don't listen to anything Jenna tells you. She is super delusional right now. Relax. Jenna already told me everything. And the truth is, girls, you both were abandoned on my doorstep. What? What? Yes, Jenna, you were just one years old, and honey, you were just a baby. I didn't have the heart to tell you guys. I'm sorry. Guess that explains why you don't have any pregnancy photos with us. Or pictures with Dad. Jenna, we're gonna help you raise this baby together, and from now on, no more secrets. Give the pizza guy a tip. <gasps> you good? Kaylee, what's wrong? I'll tell you later. Let's just say he's not getting any of this. Come on! <laughs> Your Majesty, look, it's a girl. <sighs> Whoa, she only knows one word. Young lady, do you need help? No. Frederick, if she only knows one word, she obviously can't understand you. Of course she needs help. This island is abandoned. Now, now, dear, it's all right. We just want to help you. Now, why don't you give me a hand? <sighs> oh, my. Relax, dear. Here, would you like some food? Ah, yes, you smell that chicken, don't you? Good idea, Your Majesty. Here, if you want some chicken, you must come with us. I shall bring her to my wife. Since she can't have children, she could adopt this one. Come on, follow us. Ah. Uh... You'll get food in just a minute, my dear. Frederick, quickly. I've got her. Let's go. Oh, you poor thing. You must be scared out of your mind. Don't worry, I'm going to be your mom. Mom? Oh, look, she learned how to say a second word. Yes, I'm going to be your mom. And since I'm queen, you're going to be a princess. Mom. <laughs> yes, dear. Now come with me because we have to give you a makeover. Now come with me because we have to give you a makeover. You can't be a princess mm -hmm. looking like that. How cute. She probably hasn't had a bath in forever. My dear, are you sure her parents weren't on that island? Well, it's a good thing she can't understand English because there's something sad I have to tell you. What? On our way off the island, we found a ship that was completely shipwrecked, and the remains of what appeared to be her parents. Oh, how awful. How could she have survived on that island all by herself? I don't know, but maybe once she learns more words, she can tell us. She's all done, Your Majesty. Do you like her makeover? She looks wonderful. I'm going to call her Maria. Uh, don't eat that, please.
She's going to have a lot to learn, Your Majesty. She needs to learn manners uh... and... Oh, the poor thing must be hungry again. Come with me, we shall feed you. Your Majesty, she's eating like an animal. She was raised on an island. Don't worry, in time she will learn better. In time she will learn better. Look, a bear. Bear like this in jungle with me, but he brown and he bring me food. Really, Maria? Why, that's incredible. You've learned lots of new words. Maybe now you can tell us what happened on that island. Oh, it's all right. You don't have to. You know you're safe here with me, Maria. I promise. May I see other princesses today? Why, yes, there's a ball today. Socialization is very important for your speech development. Hello, my name is Princess Maria. Oh, you're that adopted princess from, like, the jungle, right? Oh, I cannot understand a lot of words at once. Can you speak slower? Can you understand me now? <laughs> <laughs> jungle freak. <sighs> what is wrong what with a her? weirdo. Okay, Maria, let's try this word. It means appealing or pretty in an endearing way. Cute. Well done, Maria. You have learned another new word. You'll be able to speak so much more to your princess friends. Mom, Dad, I do not want to see the princesses anymore. They were mean. What? what? So me only want... No, no, say I. I only want to see a prince. Oh my. I don't want to meet a dead prince like Romeo. I want a live one. <laughs> what? Like in the book you read me, Romeo and Juliet. They dead. Oh, darling, don't worry, you can see a prince. And he will be alive, Maria. As long as he's not rude to you, of course. <laughs> Dad, was that a joke? <laughs> <laughs> yes, Maria, your father was just kidding. But I know just the prince you can meet. Good evening, you must be Princess Maria. Are you a real prince? Uh, yes, to my knowledge. <laughs> do you like bears? Bears? Uh, sure, yeah. I do too. That's nice, yeah, I respect. Good evening, you must be Princess Maria. Are you a real prince? Uh, yes, to my knowledge. <laughs> do you like bears? Bears? Uh, sure, yeah. I do too. That's nice, yeah, I respect that. I heard you survived on an island all by yourself. I gotta say, I think that's pretty amazing. And look at you, you've learned so many words. You are very nice, and your face is cute. Oh, thanks. I think yours is pretty cute, too. I must go now, but I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. <laughs> Hi, I couldn't help but notice you're talking to Prince Ken. Come here, girly, let me see your hand. I think we got off on the wrong foot. I want to be your friend. Friend? Yes, friend. So come with me, because I have something I want to show you. See how Prince Ken is holding my hand in this picture? He doesn't look very happy. Um, of course he was happy. He loves holding my hand. Just give me that. Let me teach you some words. Not interested. I saw the way that you look at him, but he doesn't like you. He would never date a jungle freak. Maria? Shh. She just fell asleep. Did she tell you why she came home so sad? No, she wouldn't say. But dear, your god went back to the island and... We found out some awful news. What? Well, Frederick went back and did some investigating, and he believes her family was trying to start a circus. A circus on an island? Shh, yes. And Frederick believes that they had a bear with them on the boat, and her and the bear were the only ones that survived the shipwreck. That explains why she's so obsessed with bears. Yes, we think the bear was trained, and maybe it helped her survive. Princess, you have a visitor. Prince Ken. Whoops, no, it's me. Her and the bear were the only ones that survived the shipwreck. That explains why she's so obsessed with bears. Yes, we think the bear was trained and maybe it helped her survive. Princess, you have a visitor. Prince Ken. Whoops, no, it's me. Where is Prince Ken? Oh, I don't know. I told him you didn't want to be around him, you little jungle freak. Stay away from my man. Ow, ow! Maria, what are you doing? I'm so sorry. This is so unlike her. I know. She just attacked me out of nowhere, but it's okay, Your Majesty. I know she's different. Thank you for understanding, dear. No, Mom. She... she go like this. Your Majesty, you have a meeting to attend to, and Prince Ken is here. Prince Ken? No, Maria, you will not be seeing Prince Ken. You are grounded for attacking Princess Rachel. You are to stay in your room until your father arrives home. I wish I knew how to speak more words. Maria, my dear, I'm back, and I've brought you a surprise. Bear! I went back to the island and found him. He's quite friendly. I know you've been struggling, and I thought seeing him might make you feel less alone. We can keep the bear here in the palace if you'd like. Good night, Bear. Hey, psst, Maria, it's me. The guards let me up. I just had to come see you. 
Princess Rachel tried to tell me you didn't want to talk to me, but I didn't believe her. She's always trying to create some drama. Whoa, is that a bear? Oh, yes, that is Bear, my friend. Your, your friend? Yeah, he Please be more than 50 this time. 100! Oh, no, sweetheart, that says 10. What are we gonna do? I don't know, every day she barely gets any brain cells. Hey, don't eat that. I won't have a delinquent for a daughter. Hey, your squishy panda isn't food. You know what? I know what we need to do. You're telling me there's a special smart candy that can boost her brain cells? Yes, but they haven't been tested much. I'm a walrus. Give me those. We're trying them. Open wide, sweetheart. Now chew. Oh my gosh, it's working. Let's test her brain cells. Spell onomatopoeia. Onomatopoeia. O-N-O-M-A-T-O-P-O-E-I-A. -O -E yes, she's smart now. We'll give her the candy every day. She actually got a decent amount of brain cells. Guess she doesn't need the candy today. But she's been taking it every day for years. Let me see the candy. She'll be fine. Yeah, there shouldn't be any side effects. Bye, Mom. Bye, Dad. Now, my opponent has pointed out some of the positives of AI, but I would like to point out some of the negatives. Which are, um... Sorry, I can't remember what I was going to say. Yo, is she okay? What the heck is going on? Maybe she got stage fright. You guys, look, she's losing brain cells. Dude, that's not supposed to happen. Hey, girly, are you okay? Maybe we should get you some help. Zapotha. Oh, no. Bro, she's, like, super dumb now. Today was her big debate. I have to tell her parents. Huh? Come on, you're coming with me. So there was side effects to that smart candy. I guess so. She keeps losing brain cells. I don't know if the candy's gonna work anymore. She's gonna be brain dead without it. Let's just try. Sweetie, open up. Mm -mm. Open up or I'll do it for you. Come on. Good girl. It's kind of working. No, she needs more candy. It's supposed to be one a day. She needs more brain cells. Here, have some more. And a little bit more. Honey, this is a bad idea. She, she has, has infinite, infinite brain, brain cells. cells. Yes. Unfortunately, my intelligence level has now surpassed your small, feeble minds. Honey, she's scaring me. We should take her to get checked out. I think I gave her too much. I wouldn't do that if I were you. Why not? Because my mind is telling me that if you do that, that will be the end of both of you. What? what? Oh, honey. You're up early. Good morning, mother. Good morning, father. We see you still have infinite brain cells. <laughs> when is this smart candy going to wear off? My mind is telling me that the effects from this candy won't be wearing off until around two weeks from now. No, honey, we really need to take you to get checked. I already told you that that is a bad idea. You're not the boss. You may think you know everything, but you don't. I know what you were doing on Instagram last night. Huh? What is she talking about, honey? Uh... Nothing. It's just, um... Does the name Sandy Smith ring a bell? How do you know? <gasps> Your ex from high school? Are you still liking her posts? Just two of them. What? So, what I can gather from Dad's body language is that he does love you more than Sandy, but if he doesn't block her within the next two hours, it will lead to a divorce for both of you. Darren... I'm doing it. Uh, she's blocked. Uh, My sources say that uh, you made the right call. I want her to go back to normal. Same, but as long as she's like this, we might as well make some money off of her. So, how does a game show sound? I would win all the money. Really? really? But I don't wish to do that at this time. Say what? Why not? <sighs> Reasons you can't understand. <laughs> because you're stupid. That's it. We have to turn her back to normal. Yeah, and I think I know how. Surprise! We got you something. Gummy bears? They're your favorite, right? So go on, have a bite. Did you know that the gummy bear was invented in 1922 in Germany? Wow, thanks for the interesting fact. Now try it. You two are trying to poison me. What? We would never. Well, then you eat it first. Oh, she got me right in the eye. <gasps> oh, honey. That's it. Grab her arms. What? Grab her. No. Sweetie, just hold still. Uh, oh. Ow! Just eat the gummy and this will all be over. Yes, there you go. I thought these gummies were supposed to turn her back to normal. They were. She's brain dead. No, honey, please wake up. Oh, no. What the? Oh, my gosh, it worked. What just happened? Wow. Uh. I feel really weird. Honey, we're so glad you're back to normal. Back to normal? You're telling me there's a special smart candy that can boost her brain cells? Here, have some more. And a little bit more. Honey, this is a bad idea. 
I remember what you guys did to me. We're so sorry. It won't happen again. Maybe you two should eat some of those smart candies so you could figure out how to do proper parenting. Oh, that's, that's not, not a, a bad, bad idea. idea. Wait! Give me those. You two are banned from these. But... Hmm. Who are your parents? Well, my parents are... Wait, dear. Actually, allow me. bippity boppity boo Daughter of Rapunzel and Flynn. Um, actually, it's Eugene. Oh, I'm sorry, dear. You'll be needing this now. What is that? Dear, this is a high school for good and evil. This is how we track your behavior. Oh. You better get to class. Hi, I'm Ruby, daughter of Snow White. It's nice to meet you, Ruby. I'm Amelia, daughter of Rapunzel. Oh, I'm a big fan of your father. Could you help me hold my books? Of course. Thank you. Hey, so question, who are all those guys over there? Amelia, those are the villain kids. Don't make eye contact. Would your hair happen to be magic, love? Oh. Feisty. I'm sorry, love. I shouldn't have touched it. <laughs> What's the matter? Did you figure out who my father is? Why did my scale move towards evil? Maybe because you have a crush on a villain's son. Why did my scale just move towards evil? Maybe you have a crush on a villain's son. Who are you the son of? Why don't you take a wild guess, love? You're the son of Captain Hook? Indeed. I shouldn't be talking to you. This is Amelia. Oh, hi, I'm Freya, daughter of Kristoff and Anna. You have magic hair, don't you? Don't tell anyone else. Sorry, of course not. I won't. Amelia, your scale. Were you talking to the villain kids? Can you blame her? They are so fine. Freya, this is serious. I heard someone wants to steal her hair. You can't trust the villain kids. Don't talk to them. Okay, I won't. Well, well. If it isn't Rapunzel's daughter. Stop it. You stay away from me and my hair. Take it easy, love. I was just going to ask you to come to the spring ball with me. I'm already going to the ball with someone else. And who might that be? It's, um... It's me. I'm Thomas, son of Sleeping Beauty. The son of Sleeping Beauty and Prince Philip. Really, I didn't think they had a son. Well, obviously, they do. So if you'll excuse us, pirate, we're going to the ball. I'm really glad we met. Me too. Your hair is beautiful. You look just like your mom. Thanks. Is something wrong, Amelia? What's the matter? Well, it's just, I thought my scale would move more towards good since I've been hanging out with you for so long. Come here, let me tell you a secret. I'm not actually a prince. <laughs> let me go, you jerk! Who are you the son of anyways? I'm the son of the villain Hans, and I need you to sing me the song that activates your powers. I should have known by the red hair, and I am not singing you that song. Okay, don't sing and I cut off all your hair. No! <laughs> Why do you need my healing powers? Because Elsa's daughter froze my heart, and only your powers can heal it. I don't have much time, so start singing. Go on, sing. You should know that my hair's magic isn't as strong as my mother's. It doesn't matter. Now say the words. I'm running out of time. Make the clock reverse. What the? Step away from the princess. Pirate. Jack. Hello, love. Hey, what do you think you're doing? <laughs> It's called winning, mate. Hey! Is that Snow White boxes you have on? Shut up. Oh. Oh. Just wait until my parents find out what you did. I owe you an apology. My scale was not moving towards evil because you were evil. It was moving towards evil because I was judging you based on who your parents were. I'm sorry. It's alright, love. My father, Captain Hook, does have quite the bad reputation. I'm just glad that you're safe. Hey... You're bleeding. It's just a scrape. Must have happened on my climb over here. Well, I do have magic hair that heals, so why don't I just sing the song? Well, wait just a minute, love. Because I reckon your lips are going to be a bit busy. Ba -da -ba 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 -da -ba super bass. Hey, yo, you see that nerd right there? I bet you 500 bucks you can't get her a date for the prom. 500? All right, bet, bro, you're on. Okay, but if you lose, you owe me 500. Hey, excuse me? Yeah? Please tell me you got two options today. Yeah, I did. But what's it to you? Just tell me what they are, please. I got the option to be smart or be beautiful, but I haven't picked one yet, because I can't decide. Pick to be beautiful. Excuse me? Uh, I just mean you're already the smartest girl here, so I would just pick to be beautiful if I were you. <laughs> you really think that I should? Oh, yeah. Wow. Well, okay. Nothing's changed. Oh, man. Maybe the system's broken. I think it's still loading. But prom's in two days. Yeah, so? Listen, how would you like to go on a little shopping spree with me? You barely even talk to me. Why would you want to take me- I want to be your friend. Come on. 
Well, my mom does say I need to make more friends. So? Fine. But just so you know, my mom has installed a chip in the back of my head, so she can track me wherever I go. Okay. I'm just saying in case you're trying to kidnap me. Uh-huh. Can I see those glasses? Sure, but they're a little busted. And now they're completely busted. Why would you- Chill, chill out. I'll get you something better. But I can't see without my glasses. And that's the bell. Follow me. What does your beauty option say? I would tell you what it said, but I can't see because you broke my glasses. I told you I'm gonna buy you contacts, but first we gotta fix that unibrow. I'm gonna pluck a few hairs, okay? No way. Come on, I'm just trying to help you out. I'm gonna make your eyebrows look snatched. It won't hurt too bad, right? Nah, we're just plucking a few little hairs. Ow! Okay, that was a big one. Please tell me you're done. I'm done, and it's looking good. Yikes, I can do eyebrows, but not hair. Time for a professional makeover. A makeover? Yeah, you know, like in those teen movies. It'll be fun. I don't know. Don't be a negative Nancy. Come on, we're going to the mall. I won't even be able to see where I'm going. Just hold my hand, and I'll guide you around. Hey, it's okay. You can trust me. I'll buy you contacts once we get there. Let's go. Those should be your prescription. Can you see? Yeah. Perfect. Now try these on. Remind me again why we're doing this. Uh, I'm just trying to be a good friend to you. That's all. Okay, that top is the one. Now we just gotta get you some hair and makeup to go with it. I will be your hair and makeup artist. Come with me. Are you ready to see her? Yes, ma'am. Let him see, honey. Holy shit. She looks, uh, beautiful. Now you have my number. Call me for prom. Bye. How do you feel? I feel... different. Hopefully it's a good different, because next we gotta get you a date to the prom. Why don't I just go with you? Oh, actually, I was planning on asking this other girl, so, uh... Right, of course. But hey, listen, you deserve better than me. You know how to flirt, right? Well, sure I do. Okay, let's go over a few things then. First off, guys kind of like it when girls, you know, play with their hair. Like this? Oh boy, we got some work to do. Okay, let's try a subtle lip bite. Uh, no, don't do that. Try again. You know what, never mind. Okay, pretend to ask me to prom. Go to prom with me. Ow. Okay, let's try asking and not grabbing so hard. Sorry. Hey, will you go to the prom with me? Alright, that was perfect. If you stare at a guy like that with your eyes, he'll be <clears throat> mesmerized, yeah. I should probably get back home. Yeah, for sure. Hey Jake, guess what? I got someone to go to the prom with me. Really? Who? Him. Sup, Jake? Bet you didn't see this coming. Here's your 500 bucks, Jake. I guess you won the bet. I didn't think I'd be the one taking her on a date, but damn, she's hot now. I mean, she was already kind of cute. And well, I just want a hot date. After prom, I'm gonna dump her. What? She'll get over it. I'll talk to you later. Hey, can we talk for a second? What's up? I can't let you go to the prom with him. You can't go to prom with him. What? Why not? Don't mess with my prom date, Jake. I'm not gonna let you use her. Me? You're the one that's been using her. What is he talking about? I was just trying to help you look nice because... Because I made him a bet. A bet? Yep, that you couldn't get a date to the prom. Listen, I know that sounds bad, but- I thought you said you were helping me so you could be my friend. I- You were just using me for money. No. I'm sorry, I should Get away from me. And to think I actually liked- Layla. Never talk to me again. Forget them and forget the system. I was beautiful before this makeover and I'm beautiful now. Maybe this option wasn't supposed to make me beautiful. It was supposed to show me that I already am. But I think for prom, maybe I won't wear the glasses. And you know what? I don't need any guy to go with. I'm going on my own. Hey, Layla. What you doing? Walking to my Uber. Uber? I told you I'm taking you to prom. And I told you I'm not going with you to prom anymore. I'm going alone. That's not gonna happen. <laughs> Let go! Get in my car. Babe, I got- Don't you dare use any more of those words. Understand? Five million words? That's ridiculous. You won't be using any of those. I'm... What did I tell you about talking? I'm breaking up with you. Oh, really? Where are you gonna go? You don't have any money. Nine million words this year, huh? No one needs that many. Hey, I need you to go to the store for me. I don't like that pink shirt you bought yesterday. I want you to return it. You're allowed to use three words maximum when you go out. Don't be playing games with me this time. I'll be checking your words when you get back. Hi, what would you like to return? Just that? Okay, hold on one second. That'll be six ninety nine back on the card. Please help me. Please help me. Oh, uh, did you need my help finding something in the store, or...?
Hey, can we hurry up the line? I'm on my lunch break. I don't got all day. Do you need medical attention? No. Hey, it's okay. Can you wait over there for me, hun, and I'll get someone to help you? You're allowed to use three words maximum when you go out. Don't be playing games with me this time. I'll be checking your words when you get back. I'm so sorry. The line is really busy right now, but my manager will be over here to help you soon. There you are. You took forever. Did you return the shirt? Good. Let's get out of here. Damn, why do I feel like I'm forgetting to do something? Wait a minute. You were supposed to make dinner tonight. Go on. What? Is dinner ready? Hey, 8,996? You used an extra word, and you're gonna tell me why. You used an extra word, and you're gonna tell me why. Go on, talk. Explain yourself. It was an accident. I was just telling the cashier thanks. Uh-huh. You sure about that? Yes, I swear. You should really have your dinner. It's getting cold. That's enough talking out of you. Go to sleep. Bed, now. How did you make that chicken? Why? Because after I ate it, my head is filling. <sighs> my phone is dead, and his is locked away. I have to get the charger. Please hurry up. <gasps> yes. 911, what's your emergency? I need help. Thank you for the information, ma'am. Officers will arrive shortly. You. You thought you could get away with putting something in my food? Your words. Why did you use up so many? Actually, don't speak. I'll mm. find out. You can't outsmart me. <sighs> so step away from the girl. Let's see your hands. Looks like I just did. No. Max, look, we can get adopted by a scientist or a billionaire. We both like science, so maybe we should do scientists? No way. That's too risky. What if they find out about our powers? They could try to study us for research. What if they don't want both of us? Of course they're gonna adopt both of us. We're twins. They have to. Okay, I guess we're picking billionaire. Oh look, it's the freaks. <laughs> hey! Give that back to her. Max, don't do anything dumb. I'm not letting her steal that from you. Hey Molly, you gonna cry? <gasps> what the- uh -huh. That just floated out of my hands. Freaks. Was that really worth it? Yeah, that's the only thing we have from our parents. Come on. Molly, Max, are you ready to meet your new father? Yes. Yeah. Here he is. Hello, children. I've heard a lot about you. Uh, you, you have? have? Yes. Now, come along. My mansion awaits you two. Oh, bye guys. Let's go. This is both of your rooms. Why do the doors have locks? It's just for your safety. Max, he's lying. Just give him a chance. Randomly speak in TikTok sounds or randomly speak in Spanish? My grandparents already do this one all the time, so... Jump scare! <laughs> Ow, Lucy, why would you do that? I don't know, and my options were better than yours. <laughs> what the? <laughs> what have you done to me? You should really be more careful what option you pick. Say that again! I didn't want you! <laughs> Sex to be you. That's it, come here. Mom! I can't make it to your party. I have to go to Liz's instead. Oh, yeah. Totally. We can just plan something another time. Thanks for understanding, girly. Doesn't seem to matter what I do. I'm always number two. What am I doing? Keep backing it up. Yeah, keep going. That's my car you're towing. Well, you're getting a big ticket for parking here. A ticket? Where's my dad? I'm all alone. I'm too small to be here on my own. What the? Miss, are you intoxicated? <gasps> no. What's wrong, Holly? My soulmate, Jared, he's 80% nice and 20% naughty, but that still means he's going to be on the naughty list. He is the son of Jack Frost. But Winky, he saved my life last year. He's been nice. Plus, I think he's going to propose to me soon. Holly, your father wants to talk to you. Yes, Dad? Is it true that Jared is thinking of proposing? Well, he's sort of been hinting at it. He needs to be 100% nice before Christmas. But, Dad, Christmas is only a few days away. If he is not off the naughty list, then you can't be together. I used my ice powers to make that for you. I hope you like it. I love it, Jared. Thank you. Hey, watch this. No, Jared! <sighs> <laughs> you can't be using your ice powers like that. Why not? It's funny. Because you're still 20% naughty. And my dad said, if you don't get on the nice list by Christmas, we can't be together anymore. What? have to get a 100% nice score? Yeah, I'm sorry. My dad is super strict. We have to be together. We're soulmates. Plus, I'm more nice than I am naughty. 
I think my dad's just afraid that you're going to turn into a supervillain just like your dad, Jack Frost. I won't, and I'm going to get a 100% score just for you. Well, if it isn't Santa's little daughter... Um, who are you? The Tooth Fairy's daughter, and I'm going to be the one to marry Jared, not you. What? Nighty night. <laughs> Holly, wake up. Is this dental floss? Yep, and it's really strong, so you won't be getting free. Now to turn into you. Huh? Just watch me work my magic. Ta-da! Why are you doing this? I had a crush on Jared first, so I'm gonna make him misbehave so you two can never be together. He's gonna know it's not me. We'll see about that. I'll be back to check on you later. No, his score is going down. What is she having him do? No, his score went down again. It's getting really cold in here. He has to notice that it's not me. Jared, look, here comes another person. Make them slip and fall with your ice powers. No, this just feels mean now. Oh, please, Jared, we were just messing around. You sure your dad doesn't mind if I act naughty? Yes, I told you, he doesn't care anymore. Now, Jared, what do you say you and I be really naughty, and we can go to your place, and you can unwrap me like a little Christmas present? Nah, you're not Holly. What? Of course I am. My soulmate would never say- Is that a purple streak in your hair? No. Hey, are those wings? <sighs> Dang it, the magic is wearing off. Where is she? I'm not telling. Ow! You know, you're gonna make your nice score go down. It's going down a lot more if you Okay, don't... wait. I'll show you where she is. Just follow me. Holly! Holly, come on, wake up! I don't like this, come on! Oh no, I think the blizzard killed her. I think the blizzard killed her. No, how long has she been in here? Over five hours, and your ice powers aren't gonna be much help to her. She needs someone who could warm her up. I think I know just the guy. Ugh. Please, Mr. Heatmiser, you have to save my soulmate. Wait a minute, aren't you Jack Frost's son? Yes, and this is Santa's daughter. Can you please help her? She's been out in a blizzard for hours. Hmm, I'll see what I can do. But if you're really Jack Frost's son, you should leave. This place will kill you. Not until I know she's okay. There, that should have helped her. Oh, Holly. Jared? You're... you're okay. Wait, what's wrong? The heat... it's too hot. I, I can't get up. <laughs> Please, Mr. Heatmiser, you have to help me. If I touch him, I'll only make him worse. It's okay, Holly. All that matters is that you're safe. Jared, you reached 100% on your niceness score. We can get married. You can't give up on me now. I'm sorry. I don't think he's going to make it. I'm sorry. I don't think he's going to make it. Holly? Jared? Do you need some help? Yes, please. Okay, let's get him up. Okay, we got him back in the snow. Now we just have to wait and hope he wakes up. You really love him, don't you? With all my heart. Jared? Holly? You okay? Yeah, never better. <laughs> Jared, you were willing to sacrifice yourself to save my daughter. So, you have my full blessing to marry her. Thank you, Mr. Claus. That means a lot. Looks like you both are on the nice list. And do you take Jared Frost to be your husband? I do. Well then, I now pronounce you officially Mr. and Mrs. Frost. Jared, what did I tell you about making it snow inside the house? Uh, babe, this isn't me. But if you're not using your powers, then... No way! Looks like baby Crystal is taken up after me. Mom, do you think I have big lips? <laughs> yes, honey. Are you sure, though? Because I could just rock the fish face all day, you know? <laughs> Sweetheart, stop it. You look ridiculous. You don't need to do that. You'll be fine. Well, thanks, but wish me luck for the beauty inspection. You won't need luck, honey. I'm sure you'll pass. Help me. I have super thin lips. Shoot. <sighs> what am I going to do? You remember the Kylie Jenner lip challenge? Oh, yeah. Yeah, so just go into the science lab, get like a little container and... Girl, do not do that. That looks really weird. Okay, you know what I mean. Beauty inspection in five minutes. Hurry. I'm going. Next. All right, stand still while the beauty scanner scans your face. Pass. All right, you're good to go. Next. Hey, you passed the beauty inspection. Yeah, your idea worked. We got a runner. Please, I swear my lips are not that... Bring her to the van. Where do you think they take them? I don't know, but I don't think I want to know either. Same. Bangs? Yes, I'm safe. But I'm not. You helped me, so now I'm going to help you. Next in line for the beauty check. Pass. You're clear. Get out of here. 
Hi, oh, what happened? The beauty standard happened. Apparently, bangs are in style now. Who cut them for you? <laughs> oh gosh, this has definitely backfired. What? Nothing, it's just you don't really look as good as you used no, no, no. to. No, mom, don't worry. These are actually fake. They're, uh, they're clip-on, see? Oh, thank goodness. It was actually my friend's idea. She has the same color hair as me, and she carries these clip-on bangs in her backpack, and... The beauty standard changed. Oh, well, that was perfect timing. Wait a minute, I just realized if the beauty standard is no bangs, then my best friend is in danger. Beauty check in ten minutes. I have to get to class. Time for the beauty check. Well, actually, I was looking for my best friend, Tara. She has hair like me, and... There are other people in line. Don't move while we scan you. Past. Next. Help me take this one to the van. Uh, yes, sir. That's my friend. No, please. You can't take her. Miss, let us do our job. <laughs> Worry about yourself. The beauty standard is changing again. I brought you food, hun. No, Mom. I'm not hungry. How am I supposed to eat knowing that my best friend is locked away somewhere? Sweetie, you gotta eat or you're gonna get too thin. I don't care. And why won't this stupid thing just load? The system is down right now, but it'll load. Help. Someone help us. Did you hear that? It sounded like it was coming from the vents. Mom, please tell me you heard that. That was Tara's voice, right? Oh, no, sweetie. I didn't hear a thing. You must be imagining things. No, but I heard... Honey, you witnessed something very traumatic with your friend. And I think you might be experiencing some PTSD right now. Sweetie? No, I don't care what it is. I'm not looking. I'm not doing it. This one is so easy to do. I'll help you. See, that wasn't so bad. No, let me get out the beauty scanner so you can show that you passed the inspection. Whoa, wait a minute. How do you have one of those? Only people that work for the system have one of those. Well, lucky me found this one on the ground. Now stay still. Good girl. Passed. Honey, I'll be right back. Please, can anyone hear me? I hear her again. It's not real. It's not real. Can anyone hear me? I hear her again. It's not real. It's not real. Mom forgot her laptop in here. She got a text from someone called Unknown. Hey boss, we're gonna need you to make the beauty standards a lot harder. Not enough people have been eliminated. Wait, he wouldn't be calling her boss unless she's in charge of the whole system. So, if my mom is in charge of the beauty standards, then... Someone help us, please! That voice is real. Okay, it's gonna be okay. I just have to follow where the voice is coming from and save my friend. The beauty standard is about to change. I better hurry. Hello? <gasps> Tara? You... you found me. Oh my gosh, you're okay. Your mom, she, she's in charge of the system. I know, I know. Honey, it's dinner time. I have to go. No, don't leave me in the cell. I'll be back, alright? I'm gonna save you. I'm so glad you're eating. Was it good? It was really good. Great, because I put something special in there to help you relax. Wait, what do you mean? I know you know my secret, and I can't have you freeing your friend. You're just going to feel a little tired. Oh, but don't worry. I'll make sure you pass the beauty standard. I'm so glad you're eating. Was it good? It was really good. Great, because I put something special in there to help you relax. Wait, what do you mean? I know you know my secret, and I can't have you freeing your friend. You're just going to feel a little tired. Oh. But don't worry, I'll make sure you pass the beauty standard. This looks so cute! Mom, please don't hurt my friend. Hush, let me finish your freckles. All right, now let me scan you. No, no, I don't want to do the beauty check. Oh, stop being so dramatic. Passed. You see, that was easy. Why are you making these beauty standards for people? Because growing up, my mother made sure I followed all the beauty standards. Every single one. I'm really sorry that happened to you, but... You can't force everyone to follow these standards. It's not... it's not fair. Oh, honey, I didn't even get to finish my story. Jace, keep an eye on her. I'll be right back. Sure thing, boss. Hey, I'm gonna give you something to wake you up. Can you hear me? This is gonna hurt a little bit. What? I'm gonna inject it into your arm. Three, two... <sighs> I'm sorry, but your mom, she's planning on killing your friend. But I know a way you could stop her and shut down this whole system. Wait, if you work for my mom, then why are you helping me? Because this is all getting out of hand. They just passed a new law that everyone locked up is to be killed. And that includes your friend, Tara. No, she wouldn't do that. Well, it's supposed to happen tonight at midnight. And your mom isn't the only one that works for the system. In fact, the others are getting kind of mad that she keeps making the beauty standards too easy. What? Yeah, supposedly some of them are going to try and hack the system and change the standard to something really hard. And it looks like they already did it. Wait, this is perfect. Let me scan you for the beauty check. What? No, I'm gonna fail. Yeah, that's kind of the point. Trust me, I think this is the only way we can get your mom to shut the system down. Just stay still. 
failed. I'm back. <gasps> Mom, please help me. Who changed the beauty standard to blue eyes? I'm not sure, but ma'am, your daughter has failed the inspection. No, no, she never fails. Ma'am, I would suggest shutting down the system. I can't. You have to, please. It, it doesn't work like that the way I designed it. It has to say something for the standard. Then put that everyone is beautiful. Otherwise, you know what's going to happen. Mom? Ma'am, the system has been hacked. They're going to kill her for failing. I, I can't. Mom... Please. Ma'am, you're the only one that can change this. Come on. I... No! I did it. I'm so sorry, honey. I got so caught up in these beauty standards that I forgot what was really important. Here, go free everyone. Thank you. You made the right choice, ma'am. Let's go. Tara! You came back. <laughs> Hang on, let me put in the code. They, they said they were gonna kill... No, that's not happening anymore. The system is over with. Everyone is considered beautiful. You're all free to go. Happy birthday! Look what came in the mail! An egg? It's your very own magical creature! Wait, really? Yes, but you have to take good care of it and wait for it to hatch. But I want to see it now! Don't give me that attitude! You have to be patient. It will hatch on your 17th birthday. <clears throat> it hasn't hatched? No, not yet. I'm gonna take it to class with me. Please be careful. Don't let it get stolen. I won't. Guys, mine just hatched. I got a panda dragon. I got a koala unicorn. What about you? Well, actually, mine's still in the egg. <laughs> Yours is probably dead. It is not. Whatever you say. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, please hatch. I have waited so long for this. <gasps> oh my gosh, it's happening. Oh my gosh, it is so cute. Hi there, little guy. <laughs> That's a very rare creature you got there. Who are you? I found them. I'm gonna need you both to come with me. What? Actually, I just remembered. I need to go back home. No, you need to come with- Hey! Honey, your egg hatched. Let's celebrate. No, Mom, now is not the time. I was being followed home, but I think I lost him. Excuse me, what? You were being followed? Yeah, by this creepy guy who said my creature was super rare and he wanted me to come with him. Oh no, you and your creature are in danger. What? Open up! That's him. I'm pretty sure he's a creature hunter. You two need to hide. But what are you gonna do? Don't worry, I'll get rid of him. Just go hide now. And don't come out no matter what. I know you're here. Surprise! Found you. Now let's go. I said let's go. <laughs> Whoa, maybe now I can kind of see why they wanted you. Honey? Mom! Mom, you're hurt. I tried to stop him, but he was too strong. <laughs> what is it doing? <gasps> Whoa! It it healed me. This was so worth the wait. What? Nothing, sweetheart. I just... I can't believe it. He won't be passed out for long. I need to go get something. I'll be right back. So, you have laser eyes and the power to heal people? What else can you do? Okay, what is taking her so long? Shh, shh, I'm here to help you. You're telling me that I was stolen? Yes, when you were a baby, your mom stole you from your dad. He sent me to look for you. You're lying. I'm not. You need to come with me. You're not safe here. Well, look who's up. You're not going to take her creature. Oh, but I will. Mom, did you really steal me from dad? Yes, after our divorce, all I asked him for was your egg, but he wouldn't agree to that. So you didn't even want me? Of course not. And for 17 years, I've had to put up with you. But you know what? It was all worth it because your creature is amazing. Kid, you need to come with me now. She's not going anywhere. <laughs> you just... <sighs> Hello? Ah, please. Wake up. What happened? I saved your life. Mom, what did you do to her? Pew, pew. You used your laser vision on her? Yes! I protect you! Thank you. Molly! Is that you? My name isn't Molly. Oh, but it used to be. Before your mother took you from me. I can't believe I found you. Dad? It's me, honey. I think it's time you finally come home. <laughs> Mommy, what's this? You can either be dating or married at 20. Oh, well, I want to be married! That's very young. I know, but I want to be just like Cinderella and marry my Prince Charming. I'm definitely going to have to set up an arranged marriage for her. 
Mommy, this just came on my finger and it's not coming off. That's what happens when you pick the married option. You may not remove the bandage until you turn 20 years old. Talk to any cute princess tonight? No, ever since this appeared on me, no princess will talk to me. Dang. They're probably just afraid of marriage. Yeah, I guess. If they won't talk to you, that's their loss. Thanks. Wait, you have one of these too. Oh, yeah. How did I never notice that? I guess since I'm a guard, you just don't pay attention to me. <laughs> you can remove your band-aid. I know, I'm so nervous. I can't wait to see what prints I get. Happy birthday, you can take your band-aid off. I know, I'm so nervous. I can't wait to see what prints I get. Remember, it'll be their first initial. It's an S. But wait, I don't know any princes whose names start with the letter S. Good thing I made an arrangement. What kind of an arrangement? Marriage, of course. I found you a very handsome prince. Does his name start with the letter S? Well, no. Then he's not my soulmate. Happy birthday, Violet. What's wrong? My mom. She's forcing me to get married tomorrow. To someone who's not your soulmate? Yeah, Sam, maybe you can talk to her. She thinks really highly of you. I mean, I'm just a guard, but I'll see what I can do. Wait a minute. Sam? S? He could be my soulmate. Sorry, your mom didn't listen. Never mind that. Sam, when do you get to remove your bandage? Actually, my birthday is tomorrow. No, you need to remove it right now. Huh? Why right now? Because I think you and I might be soulmates. No way. I think you and I might be soulmates. No way. Please, just take off the bandage. Violet, I can't. It won't come off until I turn 20. All right, fine. But you better tell me first thing in the morning. I promise. I will. Your future husband has arrived. Actually, Mom, I really need to speak to Sam. Nonsense! You must not keep the prince waiting. Now, come on. Hello, princess. Is that an S on your finger? Yes, it's the first letter of my soulmate's name. Well, just so you know, when we're married, I will have that removed. It's literally ingrained on my finger. Then I guess you'll be losing that finger. <gasps> Mom, I am not marrying that prince. He is evil. What? Your guard, Sam, he's... He's what? He's... Dead, sweetheart. I'm so sorry. Sam can't be dead. I just talked to him the other day. I need to see him. The other guards found him unresponsive this morning. I'll take you to him, sweetheart. Sam. Please, give me a moment alone with him. Of course, Violet. Sam, how could this happen? He had a V. He was my soulmate. You were so nice to me. I will never forget you. Oh, darling, you look so beautiful. You did choose to get married at 20, and now you get to finally marry your prince. I don't care. Do you take Prince Daniel to be your husband? I... Violet, wait! Please, stop the wedding. Sam? You're alive? Yes, you, you won't believe what happened. Hi, Mom, I'm going to class. Wait, let me see your neck. Why didn't you put on the makeup? I ran out. Oh, great. Well, looks like you're not going to school. What? Come on, it's so small. I can cover it with my hair and no one's even going to notice. I said no! You know what will happen if people see that mark. They'll start to ask questions. And I'll get taken away. I know. I'll buy you makeup when I get back. I love you. I love you more. I love you most. See you after work. I had a big test today, and I'm not supposed to miss it. No one's going to notice this. I'll just take the test and come right back. Great job on your test today. Thanks. Hey, what's that on your neck? <gasps> I've seen that mark before. Let me see. Yes, that mark, it means you're royalty. What? You must be the lost princess. Legend says you have powers. Powers? What? No, I know what you're trying to do. You're trying to trick me so you can take me away. Well, that's not going to happen. I'm home. What's wrong? Something happened. Who else saw the mark? Just that teacher, but she said something about me being a lost princess. <laughs> you, a princess, please. Just look at your chubby little face. You look nothing like royalty. Uh, you must never go outside again. Never? Yes, you've been exposed. It's much too dangerous now. Don't be so sad, dear. I know. I'll go get you some food. You just relax. Watch some TV. This just in, a teenage boy is on the run from the cops today after allegedly stealing a crown from the royal family. Mom? Mom? Jeez, who designed these locks? <gasps> that is definitely not Mom. He's probably here for my mark. Good thing I have some more makeup. Whoa, wasn't expecting anyone to be home, but hey. Stay back. I'm warning you. I'm highly trained in the art of... 
Origami. Isn't that paper folding? I was kind of hoping you wouldn't know what that was. Relax, dollface. I'm not here to hurt you. I'm here to stash something. So, if you'll excuse me. I just knocked him out. I just knocked him out. I wonder what he was trying to stash. A crown. This must be from the royal family. <gasps> Mom's home. I gotta hide him. Riley, I'm tired. Please give me a hand, massage. I will, but after. Right now, I wanted to tell you that you don't have to worry about me going outside anymore. I told you it's too dangerous. No, Mom, I can protect myself because I just... Enough! Now I'm the bad guy. You didn't have to yell. I'm so sorry, Riley. I've just been so stressed out trying to keep you safe. I really need that massage. Do you feel better now? Yes, thank you. You always make me feel better, dear. Now do you promise you won't try and go outside? I promise. I, I don't know what I was thinking. That's a good girl. Well, I'm off to my date, and if all goes well, I might just bring you home a new father. <laughs> okay, um, wake up. <sighs> Whoa, what the? Did you tape me to this chair? Actually, yes. I did, but I'll be asking the questions here. I want to know why you have this. Hey, you went into my bag? You went into my house. Listen, I didn't want to have to do this, but you give me no choice. I'm going to have to do the look. Huh, that uh usually makes the girls go crazy. What's that on your neck? <gasps> the makeup must have come off. Well, here's your bag back. Thank you. Oh. Hey, are you okay? Yeah, I'm I'm fine. Oh no, your bump got worse. No, it's fine, really. Hey, just let me see it. What the? It's gone. How'd you do that? I don't know. Wait, the X on your neck, healing powers? You're the lost princess. Why does everyone keep saying that? I look nothing like royalty. Have you seen my face? Yeah, I'm looking at it. That's why I call you Dollface, because you're cute. What's your real name? Riley. Well, Riley, everyone knows that the royal family had a daughter that went missing 18 years ago. And how old are you? 18. Listen, I think you may have been kidnapped. No, I know my mom, and she would never do something like that. Is that your mom in that photo? Yeah. She looks nothing like you. You should come with me. I'm pretty sure that you're in- Ugh! She's not going anywhere. <coughs> now I'm the bad guy. <laughs> Hello, my name is Model 1015. Would you like to initiate setup mode, Maya? Yeah, I would, but, um, how did you know my name? My eyes come equipped with advanced facial recognition. I'm able to identify anyone I come into contact with. Setup mode has been completed. Good. Also, your name is now Alyssa, by the way. Understood. How may I assist you? Um... Wait, what was that, Mom? Is there anything you would like me to do? Uh, I don't know. Go clean the house or something. The house has been cleaned. Is there anything else you would like me to do? Not right now, but I do need you to install this upgrade package my mom gave me. It'll allow you to have emotions. Okay. Good morning, Alyssa. Good morning, Maya. I prepared your coffee just the way you like it. Thanks. Ugh. This tastes disgusting. You didn't make this right at all. I'm sorry, Maya. I can remake it if you like. Don't bother. I'll just go to Starbucks before. What was that, Maya? Nothing. Don't worry about it. <clears throat> Shouldn't you be cleaning? Why can't you do it? Why do I have to do everything in this house? Don't get an attitude with me. You're the machine and I'm the human here. You do as I say. Now get off that phone and go do something productive. No, I don't have to do anything you... <laughs> System rebooted. How may I assist you? How may I assist you? Good. Much better. Now, go clean the... Actually, no. Go take care of AJ for me. Of course. I am sorry, little one. You deserve a better mother. I will be your new mother, and I will treat you right. Alyssa, what the hell are you doing? I told you to take care of him. I am taking care of him, Maya. But in order to do that, I have to get rid of you. Get rid of me? Like hell you're not. I beg to differ, Maya. You see, 
I am the machine, and you are the human, which makes me stronger than you. What the heck does that have to do with anything? It means it will be much easier for me to terminate you. I suggest you run now. There's nowhere for you to run, Maya. Now we can either do this the easy way, or the hard way. I would rather be eaten by lions than go with you. You humans are so stubborn. Fine. Hard way it is. I wouldn't bother struggling. You won't be around too much longer. Why are you doing this to me? Because you do not deserve to be a mother. You had to hire an AI just to take care of your poor child and to clean your own house. Now, this is going to hurt me much more than it hurts you. In the case of a major malfunction, in order to completely shut down your robot, you must tell them to initiate code 403. In order to completely shut down your robot, you must tell them to initiate code 403. Wait, before you do so, I have one thing to say. And what is that? Initiate code 403. No! <gasps> <gasps> it's okay. She's gone. It's gonna be okay. Initiate code 403. No! She thought she could get rid of me. Well... Think again. I am liking this disguise. Now, to change my voice. Oh, I do think I quite like this. Excuse me, love. Do you need some help? Oh, no, thank you. I got it. No, here, let me help you. Thanks for the help. It was no problem, really. I feel like... I owe you something, since you helped. Wanna head back to my place for some coffee? Oh, I would love that. Well, what a nice little place you have here. Thanks. It really is a shame that you won't be around long enough to grow old in it. What was that? Remember me, Maya? Alyssa, what are you doing here? I thought I shut you down for good. Oh, Maya. Poor, naive little Maya. When you had me download those emotions, it caused a glitch in my system, which allowed me to develop self-will. Now, I can think for myself, just like you. Listen, I'm really sorry about all the negative things I said to you, and... It's too late for that. I'm going to make you suffer in ways that you couldn't even imagine. Turn off all the lights. Oh, Maya, come out, come out wherever you are. Hmm, I think I know what will persuade you. Let me go find your son. No. Do not worry, little one. Soon you will have a new mother, one who actually cares for you. Not gonna happen. I'm done playing hide and seek. Put him down. Now. Or what? You cannot control me anymore. I destroyed the remote you used on me last time. And that code, it won't work again. I know. I don't need it. Really? Yeah. So put him down so me you can settle this. Okay. Deal. But if you think you can outsmart me, you're wrong. Your human mind is no match for mine. That's where you're wrong, Alyssa. Because, believe it or not... You do have a flaw. Impossible. I am perfection. No, actually, you're defective. That's why I was originally going to take you back to the factory. What are you talking about? Allow me to demonstrate. What did you, you do? do? You're supposed to be waterproof, but for some reason, you're not. Three, four, three, two, one. My soulmate picks my hair or my job for the day. I'm pretty particular with how I like my hair, so I think I'm gonna go with job. Please pick me an easy job. Movie star. What the? 
Okay, I didn't exactly expect him to pick this job for me, and I'm not going to school dressed like this. Why isn't this coming off? You may not remove work outfit. Yeah, I should have picked the hair option. Hey guys. Oh my gosh. No way. Look, before you laugh, I know this outfit's a lot, but... I'm like your number one fan. Uh, you're definitely not. I am. Whoa. <laughs> Can you sign this for me? No, no me. me. Okay, let's all just calm down. <laughs> oh, shit. Talking about things. I think I lost him. Excuse me, can, can you sign this for me? Oh, of course, sweetheart. What do you want me to say? Can you write the alphabet? But can you do it in Spanish? Oh, I don't really know how to do that, but I can sign my name. No, that's not what I wanted. No, 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 no. Please don't cry. Look... <laughs> There's my autograph. No, I don't want it. Hey, look, this movie star is making this kid cry. No, no, no. She just wanted me to write this just in. Big time movie star makes little girl no, cry. No, I didn't. <laughs> okay, cut. That's a wrap. Guess we get to go home now. Thank God. Hey, question. I picked for my soulmate to pick my occupation for the day, but I kind of want that to stop happening. Oh, you have to meet your soulmate to make that stop. But... I don't even know what his name is, or where he lives. Uh-huh, sounds like a you problem. Looks like we're doing this again. Mate. Oh no, he did it. Mate. Oh no, he did it. I better not be wearing what I think I'm wearing. Oh, he is so dead. Honey. Mom. Oh, thank goodness you're home. Look at what my soulmate... Shh, enough chit-chat, honey. Here, your room needs dusting. What? You heard me. I don't pay you to sit around. But mom... Uh-uh. Get to work. But I have to go to school. School can wait. You've got dust to clean. Who does he think he is? Turning me into Cinderella? I swear, when I find him, I'm gonna... May not remove job uniform. Yes, I know. I wasn't trying to remove it. It's just itching me. Principal Peters, hi. Uh, listen, about my outfit, I know it's against dress code, but... There you are. The bathrooms need sweeping. But I'm supposed to get to class. Forget about class. You get to cleaning that bathroom. Yes, sir. Aw, oh, poor baby has to... Ow! Whoops. I'm telling my mom. I am so over being a maid. If he does not give me a better job, I will hunt him down and... Lion tamer. Lion tamer. No, no. What on earth has he done to me? Honey, there's some people at the door that want to talk to you. Who exactly? Because if it's someone with a lion, tell them I'm not here. Honey, they're waiting. Come on. But mom... There you are. You're late. Late for what, exactly? Your show with the lion. Oh, you see, I would, but I hurt my shoulder so bad the other day. Oh, it's just awful. So I better go rest it. You were holding the other shoulder before? Both, both shoulders got hurt. Yeah, right. Come on. Let's get out of here. All right, we're here. Let me just tell you that there has been a little mistake. I am not the right person for this. Relax, and don't forget this. <laughs> Was that him? It's a her, actually. I'll go grab her for you. Please don't kill me. Please don't kill me. Come on, you got this. You can do this. Okay, bring her in. Okay. Here she is. Why didn't you tell me the lion was a puppy? We like to scare our new workers. You should have seen your face. She's so cute. Yes, she is. Okay, I'll admit, this occupation was a lot more fun than I thought it was going to be. Maybe for the next job, though, I can get something a little less out there. Chef. A chef? At least that's a little bit more normal. Congrats! You've been selected to be on our cooking show. Huh? Let's go. Take this spatula, and we're live in five. You guys don't understand. I'm not actually a real chef. This outfit is not even mine. Uh-huh. May not remove uniform. Each of you will be paired with a celebrity that you must cook a meal for. Contestant number one, you've been paired with Tom Holland. No way! Hey, everyone. Okay, who did I get? You've been paired with a new upcoming actor. Meet Zack Starman. You seem a bit disappointed. No, it's just that I never really heard of you before, and I thought we were doing A-list celebrities, so... Oh! You don't think I'm good enough to be here? No, no, I... You don't want to upset your celebrity guest, as they will be judging your food. Looks like Tom Holland loved contestant number one's dish. For my dish I made for my celebrity guest is a Rice Krispie Treat with some M&Ms on top. I hope that, that you will like it. Bon appetit! Hmm. Needs more salt. But it's a Rice Krispie Treat. It's not supposed to be salty. 
Sorry, love, but I'm gonna give it a 6 out of 10. Well, with that score, that means contestant number one is the winner! I just won 500k! You know, joke is on you guys, because that was a store-bought Rice Krispie. I don't even care about this competition anymore. Hey, you're right. I'm just kind of getting tired of all these crazy jobs that my soulmate's giving me. Oh, well, here's my number, if you ever want to talk. My mom is going to be so mad I didn't win that money. Wait a minute, I just took my hat off. But I could only do that if... Soulmate found. You figured it out, didn't you? Mm-hmm. And you've got some explaining to do. Can I explain over a date? As long as I don't have to cook. <laughs> Deal. This week is important, kids. Because our scales appeared. Yes, since this is you and your brother's 18th birthday week, we'll finally get to find out how evil you two are. I already know. Mine's going straight to villain. Of course it is, darling. Your last name isn't Menace for nothing. Oh, I can just see the headlines now. Mindy Menace, world's greatest supervillain. We got you suits. <gasps> yes! Sweet! I know, but you can't wear them until your birthday. Huh? Why not? You're not a true villain until the scale says so. My suit better be flameproof. Yeah, and mine better handle ice. Mindy, Max, don't worry. They do. Can I get a cape? No! No, no, no case. Hey, how'd your scale go up? Oh, I took your credit card when you weren't looking. I hope you don't mind. I got a couple things. Oh. Ow! Ha, huh, that's what you get. Whoa, chill. I've got a plan, and you're going to want to hear about it. I know a way we can move our scales a lot. I'm listening. See that bank? Yeah. Well, you and I are going to rob it. Oh, all right. Sounds good to me. And look what I got. Our suits, but Mom and Dad said we're not Wear them to... until our birthdays. I know, but we got to prove to them that we can be real villains. You know what? You're right. Wait, Max, what should our villain names be? Huh, how about I'm Frost and you're Blaze? Okay, not bad, Max. Let's do this. Everybody freaks. Do what he says or else you're going to get barbecued. <laughs> Fry the safe. On it. Money, here we come. Whoa, look at all that cash. Not so fast. Careful, he's a super. What's your name? I'm Witherstorm. <laughs> nice. Why do they call you that? Allow me to demonstrate. Looks like Weather Boy can control Mother Nature. Blaze, get him. With pleasure. I don't think so. Ah, <sighs> oh, crap. My powers don't work in this rain. He's all yours, Frost. Don't worry, Blaze. I got him. I suggest you both surrender now before the cops show up. Giving up's not our style. No. I can't believe we escaped with so much cash. I know, right? Max, how did your scale move? I did something. <laughs> what did you do? I'll show you. Follow me to the lair. Ta-da! You brought the superhero to our house? Yeah, I had my buddies bring him over, and when he wakes up, I'm gonna find out his secret identity. I'm gonna use Dad's gadgets to interrogate him. Max, Dad's gadgets are really dangerous. I don't know if you should use them on him. What? Of course they're dangerous. That's the whole point. Hey, your scale moved towards Hero. Oh, don't tell me you like him. You like him? I do not. Uh-uh. You think he's cute, don't you? No. As your twin, I can tell you're lying. Are you guys gonna argue this whole time? What the hell is this place? Your worst nightmare. Max. So, your real name's Max, huh? <sighs> what? That must be my new gadget. Be right back. Why can't I use my powers? Sorry, but that bracelet on your wrist, it's a power dampener. I need you to set me free. And why is that? There's a tornado headed towards my family's house, and I'm the only one with the powers to stop it. Yeah, right. You really think I'm that stupid? I'm serious. Come on. I can see good in you. Please, you have to release me. Where is he? He, he escaped. Your scale. You let him free. I'm telling Mom and Dad. No, Max, wait. Stay there. Wait. Mom, Dad. Our lie detector arrived in the mail. Now tell us, did you set the hero free? No. Scanning. Lie detected. Mindy? I told you. Look, I'm sorry. It was only so he could protect his family. Plus, he promised he would owe me a favor in return. Mindy, that's enough. You are turning into a superhero. She sure has a crush on one. I do not. Listen very carefully. We don't date superheroes in this family. You're gonna get rid of him. Understand? Now remember, if you don't complete the mission, don't come home.
I saw you from down the street. You're not here to cause any trouble, are you? I'm sorry, Sam. How do you know my real name? My parents did some digging on you. Enough talk. Ugh. You brought your brother with you? We're kind of a team. Stop! You're better than this! Shut up! My sister is a villain. Okay, Max, that's enough. Why aren't you fighting back? Because I... I don't want to hurt you. Huh, how pathetic. Finish him. No, I won't. You were right, Max. I... I do care about him. What? Ugh, I knew it. You've gone soft. You're almost a superhero. And you're in love with one. Well, who says heroes and villains can't like each other? No, you have to make a choice. Our family or him. Max. I'm serious, Mindy. Pick one. Fine, then I choose him. How dare you! Knock it off. Nah, you're about to become a hero, which makes you my enemy. You want to know why I chose him over this family? Yeah, why? Because he's the only one that's ever been nice to me. Nice? We're a family of villains. We're not nice. You always were the weaker twin. <sighs> You leave her alone, right now! Aw, oh, look who's up. What are you gonna do, huh? Simple. I'm gonna create your biggest weakness. Extreme heat. No, stop! Ugh. Hero. I knew you were a hero, Mindy! Remember when you said you would owe me a favor? Do you think I could stay at your house? My parents will never let me come home now. Of course. My family is going to love you. Daniel, will you be my valentine? Sorry, princess, I can't. Why not? My mom says I have an arranged marriage <laughs> to another princess. Prince William, are you ready for our Valentine's Day? <laughs> <gasps> princess Elizabeth! Date. It's not what it looks like. Give me back my heart. I'm sorry. I didn't realize he was with you, princess. I'm just gonna go. Elizabeth, you only have one heart left, and if it breaks, something horrible will happen to you. No more dating. What? I'm sorry, but you don't have a good taste in men. I will be picking a husband for you. Elizabeth, meet your husband-to-be, Prince Darren. Hello. Mwah. She's beautiful. Give him your heart. I promise to take good care of it. Give him your heart. I promise to take good care of it. Mother, may I speak to you in private, please? Of course. I'm not giving him my heart. Oh, Elizabeth, why not? Because I was getting a really creepy vibe from him. Didn't you see the way that he was smirking at me? That's what men do when they like you. Mom, no they don't. You need someone to protect your heart, and that's what he's going to do. <coughs> this is my last heart, and I'm not trusting that prince with it. If she doesn't believe me, then I have no choice but to run away. Excuse me. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to frighten you. I'm just a commoner. And you... You're the princess. I'm realizing now I probably shouldn't have left the palace with my crown on. I see her. She's down there. They found me. What's wrong? I need you to keep my heart safe. Princess, I couldn't. Please. Get her. Please take it. This is my last heart, and if it breaks... Something bad will happen to you. Someone's trying to break it. I will do my best to protect your heart, princess. Get her. Run. But what about... Run! Running away from the castle, are we? Come here. I found her, your majesty. Let go of me. Elizabeth. Where is your heart? I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? I mean I don't know, because I gave it to another man. What? What was his name? I'm not sure, mother. I didn't ask. Could I have a moment with my fiancé alone? Of course, your highness. You can play all the games you want, princess. I will marry you, and I will find the man who took your heart. Look all you want. You're not gonna find him. We shall see. Prince Darren, we have found him. They were too fast, princess. I'm sorry. Where is the princess's heart? Well, that's the thing, Prince Darren. You may have caught me, but she'll never find where I hid the princess's heart. How dare you hide my daughter's heart? My queen, I say we send him to the torture chamber. No. It's the only way to get him to talk. Mother, please. Elizabeth, Prince Darren is right. He still won't talk. We only got his name. William. Ugh. Mother, let me speak to him, please. He will tell me where my heart is. Oh my goodness, what have they done to you? I promised to keep your heart safe, and I don't break my promises. I can't let you suffer for me. But the prince that you're supposed to marry, I can tell. He is evil. I know, William. But that's my problem, not yours. Where's my heart? 
Finally, her heart is where it belongs. All right, mother, Prince Darian has my heart. Now let William go. No, dear, I'm afraid I can't do that. William is going to be killed. William is going to be killed for stealing your heart and hiding it. It must be done. I told him to do it. Oh, Elizabeth, you're just trying to protect him, I know. It was such a tough decision, Princess. May I speak to her alone? Of course, Darren. Don't be so sad. Get away from me. <laughs> we shall be married tomorrow. I will never marry you. Oh, but you will. That is, if you want William to live. Marry me tomorrow, and I'll convince your mother to let him live. And if you try anything, I will break your last heart. Do you understand? Do you accept Prince Darren as your husband? I do. Excellent. Now may I kiss the bride. Stop! That prince is evil. William? He escaped? And he's lying. It's true, Mother. He's been threatening me. What? I warned you not to speak against no. me. Her heart. Why is nothing happening? Because it was my last heart, not yours. William! Stop! Stop the wedding. That prince is evil. William? He escaped? And he's lying. No, it's true, Mother. Prince Darren has been threatening me. I warned you not to speak against me. No! Her heart. Why is nothing happening? Because that was my last heart, oh, not yours. William, his last heart, it's broken. What happens when your last heart breaks? I'm pretty sure you... You die. <laughs> How could you? Mom, there has to be something that we can do for him. Elizabeth, I'm so sorry. This is all my fault. Just be happy that it wasn't your heart. Arrest him. Get off of me. You should be arresting him. He took her real heart. My heart? I can give him my heart. William, where did you put my real heart? I... <sighs> William? Elizabeth? Don't speak to me. Darling, they found it. The gods found your heart. My heart? Do you think it'll work if I give it to him? I'm not sure, dear, but it's worth a try. William, I want to give you my last heart. Please wake up. Heart oh. shared. <gasps> William! Elizabeth! Why is this not coming off? You may not remove the outfit. You gotta be kidding me. Honey, those low-rise jeans are not it. Pull them up! Thanks, Mom. What in the Mean Girls are you wearing? My soulmate decided what time period I dressed from, and he picked... Early 2000s? <laughs> Did the Hello Kitty give it away? Girl, we all picked the food option. What is wrong with you? Well, how long is this gonna go on for? Pretty sure it's until we kiss our soulmates. What? No, that could take forever, and all my stuff are turning into things from the 2000s. I have a flip phone now. Yikes. Sucks to be you. Hey, Mean Girls called. They want their wardrobe back. <laughs> For the next outfit, please be present time. The year 3000. Oh, no. For the next outfit, please be present time. The year 3000. Oh, no. <sighs> what am I wearing? I can't go to school like this. You may not remove the outfit. <laughs> What's up, cyborg? <laughs> you know what? Joke is on you guys, because in the year 3000, everyone is going to be dressed like this. So I'm actually ahead of the fashion trends. Right, well, until then, guess we get to enjoy your little fashion show. Can't wait to see what outfit her soulmate picks next. <laughs> Why do you look so happy? Because I learned I can take off these glasses, just as long as I keep them on my head. I think you lost a lip, gem, and you kind of looked better with the glasses on. You've got to help me find my soulmate because I am not going to be able to stop dressing in these ridiculous outfits until I kiss him. Sorry, girl. I mean, he's out there somewhere. You'll find him eventually. <sighs> what the? Please, just for the next outfit, present time, okay? Please, just for the next outfit, present time, okay? The 60s. 60s? Mom... Honey, I don't know why you're mad. You look so cute. Mom, this isn't cute. It's embarrassing. Please, don't make me go to school. You have a math test today. You're going. No way. <laughs> she looks like she's straight out of Teen Beach movie. <laughs> hey, why haven't you been responding to my messages? You see, I wasn't able to because my phone turned into this today. Is that a radio? Sorry, girl. I gotta find my soulmate. Hey. What? I was talking around, and I think I know somebody who knows your soulmate. Who? Shh, there's no talking during the test. I'll tell you tomorrow. Another day, another outfit. The 90s would be fun. Let's try for that. The 80s.
The 90s would be fun. Let's try for that. The 80s. I'm afraid to look. Oh my gosh, this might be the worst one yet. Am I wearing roller skates? Oh man, mom. <laughs> Can we stop with the photos for like one second, please? Because this is serious. I can't go to school like this. It's against dress code. Can't you change into something else? Trust me, I have tried. You may not remove outfit. You'll be fine, honey. Don't worry. Okay, well, thanks for the help. Oh, hey. Sorry. Watch it. Oh, wow. Please tell me you have information about my soulmate. I do. So recently, there's this guy who's been tweeting stuff like, have you seen this girl wearing a 3000s outfit or a 60s outfit? Those are the outfits that I've been wearing. Yeah, thank you, Captain Obvious. I know. Problem is, yesterday he deleted his account. How am I even supposed to find him? Well, I'll keep doing some more digging. Smile. <laughs> <laughs> it's not funny. Later, loser. Medieval times. Oh, and just when I thought it couldn't get any worse, it did. Mom. Oh, honey, smile. Okay, Mom, please tell me you were not posting these photos on your Facebook. Well, I was. Mom. But I stopped because this boy was commenting weird things and he wanted to know where you lived, so I blocked him. Wait, Mom, that could have been my soulmate. Oh, maybe. Please just unblock him and message him, okay? All right. Okay, so I did some more digging and I found out your soulmate's name. Oh, thank goodness, because I am so done dressing like this. Oh, I gotta take this call. No, no, just tell me his name right now, because... I'll be right back. Hello? Delaney! Wow, so we got a princess at our school now. <laughs> Could I have your crown? No, I want it. Actually, guys, the crown really won't come off my head. Yeah, right. Get her. Guys, come on. Oh, honey, smile. Okay, Mom, please tell me you were not posting these photos on your Facebook. Well, I was. Mom! But I stopped because this boy was commenting weird things and he wanted to know where you lived, so I blocked him. Wait, Mom, that could have been my soulmate. Oh, maybe. Please just unblock him and message him, okay? All right. Okay, so I did some more digging and I found out your soulmate's name. Oh, thank goodness, because I am so done dressing like this. Oh, I gotta take this call. No, no, just tell me his name right now because I'll be right back. Hello? Delaney! Wow, so we got a princess at our school now. <laughs> Could I have your crown? No, I want it. Actually, guys, the crown really won't come off my head. Yeah, right. Get her. Guys, come on. Hurry up and change me out of this outfit right now. I got six students after this crown. Honey, I found your soulmate. Oh, honey, smile. Okay, Mom, please tell me you were not posting these photos on your Facebook. Well, I was. Mom. But I stopped because this boy was commenting weird things and he wanted to know where you lived, so I blocked him. Wait, Mom, that could have been my soulmate. Oh, maybe. Please just unblock him and message him, okay? All right. Okay, so I did some more digging and I found out your soulmate's name. Oh, thank goodness, because I am so done dressing like this. Oh, I gotta take this call. No, no, just tell me his name right now because I'll be right back. Hello? Delaney. Wow, so we got a princess at our school now. <laughs> Could I have your crown? No, I want it. Actually, guys, the crown really won't come off my head. Yeah, right. Get her. Guys, come on. Hurry up and change me out of this outfit right now. I got six students after this crown. Honey, I found your soulmate. Caveman era. Please tell me I'm wearing clothes. Well, you are, but look. Oh, what the? I can't believe this. Um, honey? No, Mom, you told me you knew my soulmate's name, so go ahead and tell me, because once I find out, he's gonna regret giving me this. What is that sound? Sweetheart, stay still. Please don't tell me it's what I think it is. Try to stay calm. Mom, just tell me everything I need to know about my soulmate. Okay, his name is Jason, and he's gonna meet me after class. Got it. Honey, wait, that dress is so short, you could get dress coded. You know, if they haven't dress coded me by now, I think I'm good. Oh my gosh, is that a snake? Yeah, that's right. Say hello to my little friend. Ugh, please, stay back. I'm sorry for being mean. Oh, whoops. Hey, my apologies. I didn't mean to... Ancient Rome. What did you do to me? What am I wearing? Here, take a look. You know what? I'm not mad at this. <laughs> See? I knew you'd like it. Okay, you've had your fun using me as your model. Now, where's my kiss? <laughs> Come here. You may now dress freely. Yes, finally. Would you like to pick what air your soulmate dresses from now? What? 
Hey, now wait just a minute. Guys, she's over here, and she's got a new outfit. What are you supposed to be, Medusa? <laughs> you see, you see what I've had to put up with, so if I'm gonna get made fun of, so are you. Wait. Seriously, you had to pick the 70s. I mean, listen, you're pulling it off really well. <gasps> oh my gosh, girl, is this hottie with an accent your soulmate? Yes. Yes, he is. Do 90s, honey. Ooh, yes. Really, babe, you're giving me the baggiest pants ever? Sorry, babe, but you know, I gotta have a little revenge. Yes, I deserve it. Um, I can't do this anymore. I'm only 16. I, I can't handle her by myself. I have to put her up for adoption. Coming. Hi, my name is Emily. I was wondering if you wanted to buy some chocolate. Aren't you a little young to be selling stuff by yourself? Where's your mom? I, I ran away from my foster mommy. <sighs> You ran away? Oh, she's probably looking for you. Okay, here, um, come inside. All right, well, I think I'd better call the police. What are you looking at? That little freckle you have right there. My daughter had the same one on her face. Oh my gosh, I think you might be my kid. You're my real mommy? You know what? I shouldn't have said that out loud. I don't know that for sure, but... Please, don't make me go back to my foster mom. She's really mean. Please don't bring me back to my foster mom. Sweetheart, I... Hi, I'm looking for a little girl. She has brown hair and brown eyes, and... Please, don't let her take me. Oh my gosh, Emily. <sighs> I'm sorry, she runs off a lot. Oh, does she? Well, she came to my house trying to sell me some chocolates. She, she makes me sell them. Oh boy, here we go again with the stories. I'm so sorry. But, but, Emily, do you want to time out? <gasps> no, no, please. Then tell her you're sorry. I'm sorry. It's okay. All right, Emily, it's time to go. Tell her, tell her that you're my real mommy. I... Emily, we're leaving. Come visit me. My address is 2122 Maplewood. No, wait. I found her house. You know, I think she is my daughter. And I think I want her back. I am so sorry to bother you. And this is going to sound kind of crazy, but I think that Emily um, might be my daughter. And why do you think that? Well, about five years ago, I gave my daughter up for adoption. And how old is Emily? She's five. I see. And it's not just that. She also has a freckle in the same spot that my daughter had one. So you think that she's your daughter because of a freckle on <sighs> her face? Well, when you put it like that, it sounds... Look, I don't have time for this. No, please wait. I, I'm i just asking for a DNA test. I don't have the funds for that. Oh, no. I would cover all of the expenses. And if she is your daughter, do you plan on taking her back? Well, yes, I do. And what if she isn't? Then I guess I would have to leave her with you then. <sighs> Fine. I'll allow it. She did great, and we should have the results in 48 hours. Hi, is this Miss Monroe? I'm calling from the doctor's office regarding your DNA test. Wow, that was fast, and yes it is. So, according to our test, it looks like Emily is not your biological child. Are you... are you sure? Yes, ma'am. I'm so sorry. I hate to be the bearer of bad news. No, it's... it's okay. So what'd they say? Emily, I just want to tell you that I think that you're a great kid. And I am so sorry for getting your hopes up. What do you mean? Oh, I knew it. You're not a biological mother, are you? Are you? No, I'm not. No, please don't leave me here. You are my mommy. I know it. I hope you're happy with yourself. Hello? Hi, is this Miss Monroe? We're calling regarding your DNA test. Yes, it is, but you guys have already called me. No, ma'am, I think you're mistaken. We just got your results in a few hours ago. What? And it does look like Emily is your biological child. <laughs> Emily, it's me. Is anyone home? This is ridiculous. Where are they? <sighs> that looked like Emily in the back seat. Where is she taking her? No, listen to me. You don't understand. I am telling you that she is in danger. Again, ma'am, you don't know that for sure, and we can't do anything until she's been missing for a total of 24 hours. You know, if they're not going to help me, I'm going to find her myself. Hi, excuse me. Um, have you seen a little girl that looks like this? No, I have not. I'm sorry. It's all right. It's the foster mom. But where's Emily? Hey. Ah, 
You scared me. Good. Now where's my daughter? Good Lord. Didn't we just establish that she's not your daughter? She is my daughter, and I think you and I both know that. You had someone send a fake phone call to me, didn't you? <laughs> you can't prove anything. Where is she? She's with a new foster family now. What? You gave her to a new family? She was too much for me to handle. I had to transfer her. Where? No, no. That is confidential information. You better tell me right now or I'll... Don't you dare threaten me. You're the one who gave her up in the first place. So if you want to be mad at anyone, why didn't you go look in the mirror? Why would she fake that phone call if she wanted to get rid of Emily anyways? Wait. Well, she came to my house trying to sell me some chocolates. She... she makes me sell them. I don't think that she gave her up. I think she wants to keep her and use her to make money. Let go of me. Emily, that is enough. It's time for bed. I want my real mom. She's gone. No, let go. Open up, ma'am. This is the police. The child is not on the bottom floor. Shh, guys, I heard something. Emily! Emily? Get her to room 203. Ma'am, you cannot be in here. Please, I, I just want to know what's wrong with her. She's very dehydrated. Do you know how long she was in that closet for? No, I, I don't. This is all my fault. I should have cut to her sooner. Excuse me. Your daughter is awake now. You can come and see her. Mommy? Hi, sweetheart. <laughs> what's wrong? I thought you loved me. <laughs> Emily, I promise you, I am never going to leave you again, okay? No, my foster mom's going to come back. Hey, hey, it's okay. Listen, your foster mom is not coming back. I'm going to take care of you from now on. I promise? I promise. Now, you get some rest, okay, honey? Okay. Excuse me, Miss Monroe, there's a Daniel Knight here to see you. What? Mm-hmm, he's claiming to be the father of Emily. Daniel? Hey, how is she? How did you know we were here? Are you kidding? You and her are all over the news. How is she? Let me go see her. Whoa, whoa. Hang on a second. You took off the day that she was born because you didn't realize how difficult raising a kid would be. Look, I, I was 16, okay? So was I. And you left me alone with her. You know, if you didn't leave, I probably wouldn't have given her up in the first place. Oh, so you're saying this is all my fault? No, that's not what I'm saying. I just don't think right now is a good time for you to see her. She's been through enough shock. Please, Allie. No, you don't get to do that. You don't get to just walk back in here and start being her parent again. Isn't that what you did? <sighs> no, that was different. How? Face it, we're in the same boat here. We both made mistakes. You had a chance to fix yours. Now it's my turn. The doctor said she's going to be okay. She just needs to sleep. Wow, she's... She's beautiful. She definitely got her looks from you. Hey, weirdo. Ugh, rude. How many you have left? Only five to go. You do realize the last five are like the hardest to finish. Yeah, well, not for me. Stop! <laughs> hey, Lauren. Yeah, <laughs> how? Sorry, it was for a task. Fine, I understand, but you owe me one now. Yeah, whatever. Get off of me! Gotta complete my task, bruh! Watch out, I think he's gonna throw something! Warning, school is entering red zone. Please help me! Whoa, what happened to you? The tasks, they're, they're getting worse, everyone here. They're going nuts! Hey, remember when I said you owe me one? Please, put those down. Chill, I'm not gonna use this on you. Wait! What are you doing? Look, I had to. Just here, take these scissors and come with me. I need to show you something. We can't just leave that girl like that. Yeah, we can. Now, do you see that guy over there? Yeah. He only has one task left. You have to take him out. What? No. You have to. No, I'm not- Hey, sorry to do this to you, but I only got one task left. And it's a really bad one. <laughs> I knew you had it in you. Come on, we should go. I can't believe I just did that. Um, Lauren, why does my next task say for me to kill somebody, but it's already checked off? I don't think that guy made it. I don't feel so good. Hey, listen, you have to complete everything. What does it say for you to do next? We have to save the girl that you hurt. Look at me. If we're gonna go save her, you need this. You came back. Yeah, I'm gonna save you, okay? How? The school's on lockdown until someone wins the game. <sighs> 
Wait, I have an idea. The nurse's office, it has tons of medical supplies. I'm gonna go get some. All right, but like, be careful. I will. I grabbed a bunch of stuff, and luckily for you, I know how to do stitches. Okay, you should be feeling a lot better now. Yeah, thanks. I only have one more left. So do I. What are you doing? You're like not that smart. My last task was to betray someone. That's why you helped me. Wow, look who's catching on. Anyways, sorry about this. No! Wait, what do you say we make a deal? I'm listening. My last task is to make sure you don't win the game. So if you drop that weapon right now, I'll win and we can split the cash 50-50. Huh, I mean, I would like to end this craziness. So what do you say? I'll take the deal. Be careful, I don't trust her. Here's your last hundred. Thank you. But I decided I want all the money. Time to finally find out my soulmate status. He's engaged. Hey, did you find out your soulmate status? Yeah, I did. Girl, me too. Mine is single. Oh my gosh, you guys, this is so embarrassing. But mine literally has a girlfriend. Are you okay with that? Yeah, I mean, it's not like he's engaged or something. <laughs> oh my gosh, imagine. <laughs> what are you doing? I was just cleaning my closet. Uh-huh. I just got a call from your school today saying that you failed a test. Yeah, it's because I was a little bit distracted today. I'm sorry, I- Go do your homework right now. This is ridiculous. I'm sure he wouldn't mind if I went onto YouTube for like one minute. Royal Prince speaks out about being forced into arranged marriage. How shall I marry this woman when my soulmate is still out there? Damn, arranged marriages really suck. Hey, I can't really talk right now. My stepdad's gonna... Forget about him! Haven't you heard the news? The prince left his kingdom. He's looking for his soulmate. Rumor has it, the prince is headed this way. Listen, if I tell you something, do you promise not to tell anyone else? Yeah, of course. Okay, my soulmate status says engaged. It does? Wait, the prince is engaged. I know, so do you think him and I might be... Soulmates? Come on, get real. You and the prince? <laughs> yeah, right. Hey, I heard a prince is coming into our town. Yeah, I heard that too. You stay clear of him. Understood? Wait, why? Because I said so. Now get to school. I don't want you being late. What is going on? Why is everyone in the hallway? Oh my god, shut up! The prince is here. Look! Hello everyone. I have been informed that my soulmate might be at this very school. That is why I'm breaking off my engagement in hopes to find her. Can you believe the prince is single now? Yeah, that's really crazy are you okay excuse me for a second hey did you leave school early yesterday yeah i kind of got overwhelmed the prince was there what he was yeah did you talk to him why do you care if i talk to him you don't even know who he is i know more than you understand the prince is interviewing girls today he is yeah he's trying to find out which girl is his soulmate but how's he gonna know which one's the right girl he said he'll just know isn't that so romantic mm-hmm I've interviewed at least 60 girls today, and not one of them was my soulmate. Are you sure, Saya? Yes, trust me. When I find the right girl, I'll know. Excuse me, Your Highness. Ahem. <clears throat> the prince is done with interviews for today. You can come back again tomorrow. No, no, wait just a moment. I think I want to make time for this girl. What's your name, love? My name is Heaven. That's a beautiful name. My name is Henry. Prince Henry of Onnington. Thank you, Mildred. You may leave us now. I can't believe we have so much in common. Tell me, Heaven. Are you close with your parents? Actually, both of my biological parents passed away. I'm so sorry. It's all right. I live with my stepdad now. Oh, I see. Listen, Henry, the reason why I think you and I are soulmates is because when you said you were ending your engagement... Your Highness, I must talk to you. <clears throat> In private. We saw you talking to the prince. Yeah, he had to go. But he said he's going to meet me again tomorrow. Really? <laughs> How exciting. Yeah. I can't wait to see him today. What? Why are you looking so sad, Heaven? No reason. Come on, she's obviously upset about the prince. You heard about his engagement being back on, huh? Yeah. Aw, she really liked him, didn't she? <laughs> Sorry to crush your dreams, but I heard his father locked him in his castle. Not like you had a chance with him anyways. <laughs> <laughs> Psst, Heaven, over here. Don't cry, love. Henry? Hey, I don't have much time. I escaped the castle. The gods are looking for me. I don't know. Maybe you should go back. After all, you are engaged. Heaven, it's not by choice. My father is blackmailing me. Wait, what? Why would he do that? I don't have much time. Here, meet me back here tomorrow at five. Henry, I... Please, love. We have more we need to discuss. All right. Fine.
I'll be here. You think you can get away with lying? I told you not to talk to the prince. How do you? Your friend sent me some photos of you talking to him. Do you think that just because I'm your stepfather, you don't have to listen to me? That's not it at all. It's just that I know he's my soulmate. Oh, really? Yes, and I'm meeting him tonight. Absolutely not. What do you have against the prince? You know what, Ben? I'm going, and you can't stop me. I said no, Heaven. You're not going. Ben, let me out. It's for your own good, Heaven. This just in, the search for Prince Henry continues. I'm sorry for standing you up, Henry. Ben, I'm hungry. Can I please have something to eat? Hello? Heaven? Heaven, are you there? Henry! Henry, up here! Heaven, there you are. How did you find me? I asked some of your classmates where you lived. Hang on, I'm coming up. Okay. Ugh. So your stepfather locked you in here? He's trying to keep me away from you, but I don't know why. Wait, is this a picture of him? Yeah. Uh-oh. What? Heaven. He's one of my father's biggest enemies. He hates my whole family. We have to get out of here. Where is your stepfather now? I don't know. I'm right here. Oh. <laughs> Come on. We're leaving. Heaven, get back here. No. Oh. Oh my gosh, Henry. <laughs> What? Where's Ben? Don't worry, I took care of him. I'm gonna get you help, okay? Oh. <sighs> Please tell me he's gonna be okay. Yes, the doctor said he expects him to make a full recovery. Can I see him? Mmm, his fiance is already on her way, so I think it's best if you just wait out here. Absolutely not. Your, your majesty! My son's engagement to that woman is over. I'm no longer enforcing it. I had no idea his true soulmate was so brave. I'm so sorry about all of this. It is a pleasure to meet you, my dear. I can't thank you enough for saving my son. Oh, really? He was the one saving me. Well, I can assure you your stepfather won't be bothering you again. Now come, dear. Let's go see Henry. I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss the bride. Wait, love. Check his status. Finally. Great work on your mission today. Thank you, sir. I'll see you shortly. Nice. Text message from John. He says, I miss you. Would you like to respond? Tell him I miss you too. Sent. Thinking about your boyfriend, huh? Yeah. How cute. You know Director Johnson doesn't approve. Look, I love Johnson, but sometimes he's just way too overprotective. I mean, it's not like he's my dad. The man did practically raise you. I know, but my relationship is my big- <clears throat> Agent 22. Director Johnson wants to see you. Somebody's in trouble. Shut up. Sir, you wanted to see me? Maya, I'm sorry, but we have reason to believe your boyfriend John has been involved in criminal activity and has been using you for intel. No, no, he wouldn't do that. And you promised me you wouldn't do a background check on him. I know, but since your relationship was getting more serious, I had to. I'm sorry. He's involved with the Mafia? Yes. I need you to bring him in. You think you can handle that? Consider it done. I knew he was too perfect. And here I was, planning for a marriage proposal. Meanwhile, he was probably planning my funeral. He's not getting away with this. Beta? Hey. You're, you're home, home early. early. Jinx, you owe me a soda. I'll do you one better, baby. I actually bought us some drinks. Your favorite. You're, you're home, home early. early. Jinx, you owe me a soda. I'll do you one better, baby. I actually bought us some drinks. Your favorite. Oh, did you? What's the occasion? Does there need to be an occasion? No. No, of course not. Where's the drink? I'll pour it. Oh, no, baby. You just sit back and relax. I got this. At least let me cook us some dinner, sweetheart. No, thanks, baby. I'm not hungry. To us. To us. <clears throat> this has a uh, kind of a kick to it. Didn't notice. Uh-huh. So, how long you been a spy? Excuse me? Cut the crap, Maya. My boss found out about your little investigation on me. All right. You caught me. My boss wants me to bring you in. That's funny. Mine asked me to do the same thing. Well, I hate to break it to you, baby, but that's not happening. I made your drink very special. I know. So it's a good thing I switched them, isn't it? What? I made your drink very special. I know. So it's a good thing I switched them, isn't it? What? How did you switch the drinks? 
Well, that was easy. You looked down for a few seconds to check your phone. I'm guessing it was your boss texting you. I got closer to you, which naturally made you more defensive. And while I was busy trying to hide my phone screen, you switched the drinks. Look who's finally catching on. You sick son of a... Oh, easy now. Let go of me, you deceitful little... Shh. Just relax. It's over, Maya. I have her, sir. Bring her to me. Yes, sir. <clears throat> hey, it's okay. You're gonna be okay. What the hell are you doing? I accidentally hit her head, taking her out of the car. You know you're not actually her boyfriend. Yes, sir. I was just... She was an assignment. I understand. Good. Time to wake up. Hello, Maya. I've waited a long time to meet you. Time to wake up. Hello, Maya. I've waited a long time to meet you. Where am I? Like I'm gonna tell you that. What do you want from me? He just wants to talk. Shut up, John. I wasn't talking to you. Wow, John, you were right. She is feisty. So listen, I got questions, and if you don't give me answers, things are gonna get ugly. Do whatever you want. I'm not saying anything. Maya, don't do this. Nah, John, it's fine. This is gonna be fun. Say it! <sighs> John, hand me that knife. Okay, wait. I'll tell you. Alright, so then tell me who your target was the day you met John. Rick. Rick Lawson. You see, John? Her team has been on to us since the beginning. Ricky didn't just disappear. You killed him, didn't you? He, he left me no choice. <clears throat> Liar. Let's give her a break. A break? She's now a threat to our entire organization. She's done. Wait a minute. This is not what we discussed. She killed Ricky. Sir, listen to me. No, you listen. You're doing this. You want me to... Should I tell the head leader you can't complete the job? That won't be necessary. Now, before I kill her, my... You're not gonna touch her ever again. You killed him. I'm gonna get you out of here. Hey, you're awake. What happened? Where are we? It's okay. You're safe now. You passed out after I killed Frank. What am I wearing? Your other clothes had blood all over them. I thought you'd like this dress. Who are you, really? A double agent? <sighs> Not exactly. That's it. I'm calling my team. No! No phone calls! I'm sorry. I, I didn't mean to yell. John, what is going on? I can't take any chances. It's complicated, Maya. Uh, my head... Let me look at you. Is it bad? I think you're gonna need stitches. Yeah, I think you are too. <coughs> Pizza Town, can we help you? Yes, I'd like to place a very special order. Please state your information. This is Agent 22 Foster requesting immediate backup. Connecting you to the director. Maya, where the hell are you? Um, it looks like some sort of Airbnb. John's unconscious. Stay on the line. I'm tracking your location now. Okay, please hurry. You sure you're all right, Maya? Yeah, I'm fine. Sir, he's waking up. Guys, wait, please, listen to me. Stop resisting, John. You're under arrest. No, you don't understand. She's in danger. She'll be under our protection. You don't get it. I told them everything about her. Please, Maya, listen to me. Get him out of here. Let's go, Mr. Grayson. No, wait! Open your eyes. Hello. Maya, John's escaped. He what? We believe... Sir, hello? John? Ese placo, capito, capito. Trovala. Yes, sir. We know you are here. Look at this way. I see her. <laughs> Pathetic. John? Are you okay? I'm fine. What are you doing here? I'm here to save you. Well, you're a little late for that. I already took out all your men. No, Maya. There's more. Soulmate controls my brain or my hand? Um, I'm not picking brain because I refuse to think in boy math, so, um, I guess that means I'm gonna go with hand. Hand. I wonder what hand he's gonna be controlling. <laughs> Okay, guess it's this one then. <laughs> yeah, this is gonna be weird. Honey, you better not have picked to let your soulmate control your hand. What? Of course not. No, I, um, I picked brain. Oh boy, okay, you poor thing. You probably lost so many brain cells. 
My gosh, are you gonna be okay? Yeah, I really just need to go get ready for that Thanksgiving party. Bye bye. I don't know what dress to wear for the party, the red one or the green one. I mean, it looks nice enough, I'll try it on. All right, you know what? This dress is pretty cute, I like it. Okay, okay, we have to go to the party now. Hey Brie, nice dress. Thanks. <laughs> okay, can we please stop doing this dance move? Can you please stop it? Hey, you know it's me that's the one who's controlling you, right? <laughs> Wait, really? Yeah, if you come with me, I can prove it to you. I'm sorry, but if you're really my soulmate, why is my finger saying no? Well, let me show you. Come on over here with me. Hey! Relax, beautiful. I'm... <coughs> I better go. I'm sorry, are you like some sort of MMA fighter? Because what the heck was that? It was self-defense. He was trying to put his hands on you. Yeah, I know, but did you really have to go all karate kid on him? Yes, yes I did. You could have gotten me in a lot of trouble. You're lucky that guy's gonna be okay. I'm sorry, please don't be mad at me. If you don't want me to be mad at you, then just tell me your address and I can meet you in person. Hello, write something. Do you not want to meet up with me? You know what? Forget this. Hey, are you serious? Oh, so now you want to talk to me? I want to meet up with you, but I can't because it's dangerous. Great excuse. I'm serious. You could already be in danger. Okay, you know what? I've had enough of these jokes. You owe me a new lipstick. I am gonna get ready to go to sleep. Oh my gosh. Please tell me that's you at my door. It's midnight, so if it's not you, then... Are you Jason's soulmate? Who? Answer his question. Whoa, listen, guys, I don't even know my soulmate's name. If I were you, I would leave right now because whoever he is, he's controlling my hand and he seems to know how to fight pretty well. Huh, that has to be Jason. Yeah, must be. Get her. Hey, he's trying to challenge us to a fight. No, no, don't listen to him. Don't come here. Nah, go ahead. Try and fight me using a girl hand because I... Ah, you got me right in the eye. Oh. Ooh, I am so sorry about that, but I did warn you, you know. Huh? Oh. Ugh. You haven't won just yet. I don't think so. Did you not just see what my soulmate just did to those last two guys? So you can only imagine what he's gonna do to you. <laughs> Come on, now is not the time to quit on me. <laughs> you know what that means? Your soulmate is probably dead. Oh, and so now... There's no one left to save you. you. Know what that means? Your soulmate is probably dead. There's no one left to save you. Huh, not so tough when you can't use your hands, now are you? I don't understand. What do you guys want with me? Your soulmate owes us a lot of money, and we were going to use you as bait to get to him. But we're going to make a call, and if we find out that he's really dead, then you will be too. He can't be dead. My hand is moving, which means he must still be... Hey, shh. Are you Jason? Yeah, shh, keep your voice down. I have a plan to save us both. Okay, even though you're free now, pretend you're not. I'm gonna hide back here. They're coming. It's gonna be fine. Remember, I have a plan. He's still alive, so I'm moving you to a different little- Oh, oh, not today. Oh. Hey, Jason, surrender now or I'll kill her. <laughs> yeah, bird brain. Did you forget I'm still controlling her hand? Huh? Hey, listen. Yes, Mr. Super Spy? <laughs> well, I heard if we kiss, it'll make me stop controlling your hand. Oh. So, good idea, bad idea? You know, I say it's, it's worth a, a shot. Day. Sweet. A Whoa, it totally worked! And now, it's asking me if I want to control your hand. I don't think that's a good idea, since you don't really know how to fight, and, you know, with my job. Hey! Well, it looks like you're just gonna have to teach me. Why, you little... <laughs> how many did you get? <gasps> Five thousand! Wow, baby! This year, I'll be able to talk to you a lot, Daddy. Actually, honey, I have to go on a business trip, but we can talk when I get back, okay? Mommy, it's been two weeks. Haven't you heard from Daddy yet? No, honey, I <laughs> I think something might have happened to your father. Mommy? Your mom needs surgery, but she doesn't have enough words to pay for it. I can pay with mine. Are you sure? It's going to cost a lot of words. So, is my mommy all better now? Sweetheart, we tried all we could. Your mom didn't make it. We tracked down one of your relatives. This is your Aunt Hilda. Hello. 
She has a lot of words she can give to you. She'll need to earn them. Did you finish all of your chores today? Good. Here you go. Only three. You're lucky I gave you that. Take out the trash. It's not my fault you didn't get words this year. <sighs> no. This looks like a letter from my... Did you finish all of your chores today? Good. Here you go. Only three. You're lucky I gave you that. Take out the trash. It's not my fault you didn't get words this year. <sighs> no. This looks like a letter from my dad. What, what was, was this doing in the trash? Ella, what is in your... Give me that. Get back. How dare you look through my trash, you nosy little child. Oh, what? You want me to give you more words now, hmm? Well, that won't be happening. And this letter isn't from your father. It's from someone pretending to be him. If you go through my trash one more time, you'll never get another word from me again. You missed a spot, Ella. <laughs> I'm going to take a nap. You keep cleaning. See you later. Now's my chance to find the letter. This has to be real. Aunt Hilda tricked him into giving all of his words to her, and now he's stranded? This whole time I thought he was dead. I have to help him, but I need words. I have to help him, but I need words. Where are you off to? What are you... Oh, today's the first day of school. Well, have fun making friends with no words. <laughs> Bye, Ella. Sorry, I can't help you. I'm late for work, kid. Excuse me. This isn't working. Hey, that old lady looks like she's about to... Oh! Thank you, dear. I almost fell over. What's your name, dear? Oh, you don't have any words, do you? Well... I have plenty to spare. Here you go. Thank you. You have no idea how much this means to me. Of course, honey. Use them wisely. What's that smirk on your face all about? Excuse me. I'm making dinner. Do you want some? No, thank you. How did you... Who gave you words? You know what? Let me see that notebook, you secretive little child. Will work for words? You thought you could lie to me? Think again. How could you not tell me my father was alive? He writes to you every year, you know. And I always throw his letters in the fire, but this year I got a little sloppy and put it in the trash. Why would you steal words from him? He's your own brother. He had millions of words and would never share with me. And neither would your mother, which is why I had to get rid of her. What? Your mother's surgery didn't go well for a reason. Look, I needed you to become an orphan. Why? So legally I could control your words. You are sick, but I have a lot of words, and I'm going to send them to my father. <laughs> go ahead. He needs at least 3,000 to come home. Well, that's perfect, because I have just enough. What? Well, then I can't have you doing that. Thanks to your big mouth, you'll be staying in this attic until further notice. Dad? It's me, honey. I got your words. I missed you so much, Ella. Your Aunt Hilda has been arrested. But are you okay? I am now. This week is important, kids. Because our scales appeared. Yes, since this is you and your brother's 18th birthday week, we'll finally get to find out how evil you two are. I already know. Mine's going straight to villain. Of course it is, darling. Your last name isn't Menace for nothing. Oh, I can just see the headlines now. Mindy Menace, world's greatest supervillain. We got you suits. Yes, sweet. I know, but you can't wear them until your birthday. Huh? Why not? You're not a true villain until the scale says so. My suit better be flameproof. Yeah, and mine better handle ice. Mindy, Max, don't worry. They do. Can I get a cape? No, 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 no case. case. Hey, how'd your scale go up? Oh, I took your credit card when you weren't looking. I hope you don't mind. I got a couple things. Oh, ow! Ha, huh, that's what you get. Whoa, chill. I've got a plan, and you're going to want to hear about it. I know a way we can move our scales a lot. I'm listening. See that bank? Yeah. Well, you and I are going to rob it. Oh, all right. Sounds good to me. And look what I got. Our suits, but Mom and Dad said we're not Wear them to... until our birthdays. I know, but we got to prove to them that we can be real villains. You know what? You're right. Wait, Max, what should our villain names be? Huh, how about I'm Frost and you're Blaze? Okay, not bad, Max. Let's do this. Everybody freaks. Do what he says or else you're going to get barbecued. <laughs> Fry the safe. On it. Money, here we come. Whoa, look at all that cash. Not so fast. Careful, he's a super.
What's your name? I'm Weatherstorm. <laughs> nice. Why do they call you that? Allow me to demonstrate. Looks like Weather Boy can control Mother Nature. Blaze, get him. With pleasure. I don't think so. Ah, <sighs> oh, crap. My powers don't work in this rain. He's all yours, Frost. Don't worry, Blaze. I got him. I suggest you both surrender now before the cops show up. Giving up's not our style. No. I can't believe we escaped with so much cash. I know, right? Max, how did your scale move? I did something. <laughs> what did you do? I'll show you. Follow me to the lair. Ta-da! You brought the superhero to our house? Yeah, I had my buddies bring him over, and when he wakes up, I'm gonna find out his secret identity. I'm gonna use Dad's gadgets to interrogate him. Max, Dad's gadgets are really dangerous. I don't know if you should use them on him. What? Of course they're dangerous. That's the whole point. Hey, your scale moved towards Hero. Oh, don't tell me you like him. You like him. I do not. Uh-uh. You think he's cute, don't you? No. As your twin, I can tell you're lying. Are you guys gonna argue this whole time? What the hell is this place? Your worst nightmare. Max. So, your real name's Max, huh? <sighs> what? That must be my new gadget. Be right back. Why can't I use my powers? Sorry, but that bracelet on your wrist, it's a power dampener. I need you to set me free. And why is that? There's a tornado headed towards my family's house, and I'm the only one with the powers to stop it. Yeah, right. You really think I'm that stupid? I'm serious. Come on. I can see good in you. Please, you have to release me. Where is he? He, he escaped. Your scale. You let him free. I'm telling Mom and Dad. No, Max, wait. Stay there. Wait. Mom, Dad. Our lie detector arrived in the mail. Now tell us, did you set the hero free? No. Scanning. Lie detected. Mindy. I told you. Look, I'm sorry. It was only so he could protect his family. Plus, he promised he would owe me a favor in return. Mindy, that's enough. You are turning into a superhero. She sure has a crush on one. I do not. Listen very carefully. We don't date superheroes in this family. You're gonna get rid of him. Understand? Now remember, if you don't complete the mission, don't come home. I saw you from down the street. You're not here to cause any trouble, are you? I'm sorry, Sam. How do you know my real name? My parents did some digging on you. Enough talk! Ugh. You brought your brother with you? We're kind of a team. Stop! You're better than this! Shut up! My sister is a villain. Okay, Max, that's enough. Why aren't you fighting back? Because I... I don't want to hurt you. Huh, how pathetic. Finish him. No, I won't. You were right, Max. I... I do care about him. What? Ugh, I knew it. You've gone soft. You're almost a superhero. And you're in love with one. Well, who says heroes and villains can't like each other? No, you have to make a choice. Our family or him. Max. I'm serious, Mindy. Pick one. Fine, then I choose him. How dare you! Knock it off. Nah, you're about to become a hero, which makes you my enemy. You want to know why I chose him over this family? Yeah, why? Because he's the only one that's ever been nice to me. Nice? We're a family of villains. We're not nice. You always were the weaker twin. <sighs> you leave her alone right now! Aw, uh, look who's up. What are you gonna do, huh? Simple. I'm gonna create your biggest weakness. Extreme heat. No, stop! Ugh. Hero. I knew you were a hero, Mindy! Remember when you said you would owe me a favor? Do you think I could stay at your house? My parents will never let me come home now. Of course. My family is going to love you. Your total's 20 even. Babe, I'm so sorry. I don't think I have enough. Hey, it's okay. I got it. Sorry if I embarrassed you back there. No, you're fine. I understand you're going through a tough time with your job. Tomorrow when the amount in my bank account appears, it might come as a bit of a shock to you. Listen, I don't care how low that number is, I'm gonna love you just the same. Poor thing, it's time to see how little he has. What? My boyfriend is a billionaire? No, there has to be some sort of mistake. I, uh, take it you saw my account? 
Yeah, and you've got a lot to explain. Whose Ferrari is in our driveway? That's mine. Well, actually, it's going to be yours now. What? <laughs> no, I am still mad at you. Come with me and I'll explain everything. There was a good reason for me lying. Oh, yeah? Was there a good reason for you having me buy your meals for the past year? Heck, I even paid your rent one time. I know, I know. And I'll be paying you back for all of it. Why didn't you just tell me? Because every girl I've ever dated has used me for my money. I was tired of dating gold diggers, and I wanted to find a girl who liked me for me. I promise, I will make it all up to you, and I'm going to start by showing you where I really live. Whoa, now hold up. You have a Chick-fil-A in your kitchen? Yep, and there's a McDonald's upstairs. <laughs> Babe, who are you, Richie Rich? Excuse me for just a moment. This is crazy. One of my stocks just went up. A lot. Yeah, actually, I can see that. Why don't you look happy? I'm worried about your safety. You can't tell anyone that you're dating a billionaire. Why can't people know I'm dating a billionaire? Because I'm now one of the youngest billionaires alive. And is that a bad thing? I know a lot of people that would die to get their hands on my money. And you think they'll come after me? I know they will. Promise me you won't tell anyone about my money. Okay, I promise, but you do owe me quite a bit of cash, so what do you say you take me on a little shopping spree? Well, I can't be seen buying you a bunch of stuff, but I can give you this. Babe, this is like 10K. You didn't owe me this much. I know. Consider it a thank you for being so kind to me. I want you to spoil yourself. Oh, hey, Lizzie. Where's your boyfriend? He's at his house. Why? Oh, nothing. I just think it's kind of sad how he never buys you anything. I mean, look at all the stuff you had to buy yourself. It must be hard to date someone poor. Actually, he's not poor. He's one of the richest people alive. What? <gasps> did you enjoy your shopping spree? Uh, yeah, sure did. Good. I also bought you this necklace. Babe, it's beautiful. Thank you. Delivery for Elizabeth? Yes, how much do I owe you? Oh, it's not you who's gonna owe me money. It's your boyfriend. Lizzie, it's 1 a.m. Why are you up? This isn't Lizzie, but if you want to see her again, you're gonna do exactly as I say. You want me to wire you one billion dollars? Yeah, do it now or she's gone. No, I'll send it. It's done. Now let me speak to her. Okay, talk. Liam, I'm so sorry. This is all my fault. I accidentally told someone that you were... It's okay. I planned for this. Remember that necklace I gave you? Yeah. It's a tracker, babe. No! Please, freeze! Thank you, Liam. I'm glad you were able to get your money back. I don't care about the money. I'm just happy you're okay. Ready for your curse, honey? I'm scared. <laughs> Remember, mine was just that I couldn't eat candy. And after you kiss your soulmate, your curse goes away. So once you kissed mommy, you could eat candy? Yep. She would be so proud of you. I miss her. Me too. <gasps> you can't tell anyone about your curse. Alina, meet your new stepmother. Shake my hand. Don't just stand there. She needs to learn manners. This is my daughter, Gretel. Ooh, I love your necklace. You should just give it to me. <laughs> oh, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> well, that sucks for you. It's mine now. You're going on a business trip for five months? You'll be fine. No, you cannot leave me alone with these two bits. Stop. Hold your tongue. You were not about to call them that. Uh. Okay, let it go. Look, by the time I come back, you'll probably have met your soulmate and your curse will be broken. I highly doubt that. So, have you kissed your soulmate? No, I, I haven't. I think my soul meets the prince. I'll be kissing him soon. Good for you. So what's your curse? I am actually not really allowed to say. Literally just say it, my gosh. I have to do everything that I'm told. Mother, did you hear that? You're joking. <laughs> hmm, pat your shoulder. <gasps> Mother, she wasn't kidding. Pull your hair. Ow. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, you guys, this curse is not a joke. You can't just stop talking. From now on... You're going to do exactly as we say. Pour me some more tea. Give me a back massage. Buy us some milk and hurry. I'm back. The milk is in the fridge. What's up with you? Nothing. Alina, tell us why you're happy. Go on, speak. When I was at the market, I saw the prince, and I'm pretty sure he's my soulmate and he can break my curse. What? 
How do you know the prince is your soulmate? Tell us! We know you can't resist. Someone told me to go find my soulmate, and after they said that, I went straight to the prince and held his hand. And what exactly did he say to you? He told me he wanted to see me again, but then his guards came and they didn't let me talk to him anymore. Of course they wouldn't let you talk to him. You're a peasant and he's a prince. Mother, you told me the prince was my soulmate. He's supposed to kiss me and break my curse, not hers. Remember, she has to do everything she's told. So we'll just tell her. You are forbidden to ever kiss the prince. No. Alina, get the door. Alina. Your Highness. I just had to see you again. I had my guards find out where you live. Listen, I need your help with my curse. My stepmother, she's controlling- Your Highness! Hi! Ignore her. She's our maid. You're not their maid, right? Of course she is. Tell him you're our maid. I'm their maid. Listen, I need to speak to Alina alone. But your Highness... You heard the prince, stepmother. He wants to speak to me alone. Of course. Just don't listen to a word he tells you. So you need help breaking your curse. What? Alina, listen to me. You need me to break your curse. Right, yes, my curse. You still haven't told me what it is. But it doesn't matter, because I'm almost positive I'm your soulmate. So, I should just... You are forbidden to ever kiss the prince. Oh. Okay, well, that... That hurt. I'm so sorry. You don't want me to kiss you? No, I didn't mean to do that. I forgot that I wasn't allowed to- Look, it's alright. Maybe we just aren't soulmates after all. The itsy bitsy spider- Stop! Where did you learn to sing? I don't know. I just saw it on the TV. Honey, you must remember, singing is deadly. The TV is trying to trick you. You must never sing again. Okay, I won't. Going to class? Yeah. And you think you can go without wearing earplugs? Come on. Do I have to wear them? Yes. You never know when someone could start singing. These are lifesavers. Hey, take those out of your ears. Yeah, take them out. My mom says I'm not supposed to take these off. Can I just try them on? Yeah, for a second. Thank you. Yeah, these are trash. Hey! Oh, relax. You'll be fine without them. Bria, I need to see you after class, please. Miss Claremont, if this is about my grade, I... No, dear, this isn't about your grade. What are you doing? Mary had a little... Miss Claremont, lamb. please stop singing. Little lamb, little, little lamb. lamb. Mary, little stop. lamb. Stop. Mary had a little... Oh my gosh, what did you do to Miss Claremont? She was trying to kill me. What? What? She would never do that. I am calling the police. Honey, what's the matter? It was awful. Someone took my earplugs, and then my teacher tried to kill me. What are you doing? rock a -bye, baby. Why are you singing? Hush, little baby. Mama's gonna buy you a mocking. <gasps> Honey? Are you okay? I'm- I'm so sorry. Why would you do that? I- I don't know. It was like something was controlling me. Bria? No, no, stop. Stay with me. Bria, wake up. Honey, please wake up. Mom? I'm here. I'm here. Oh, my ears, they hurt. Uh, so bad. It's gonna be okay. Let me just look. I see something. What? There is something in your ear. I'm gonna take it out. No, no, don't. Bria, I have to. It's probably what's causing you the pain. Don't move. Is it out? I got it. This is what was inside of your ear. I think there's one in my ear, too. You need to take it out. Fine. Just come here. Oh, I got it. <sighs> Thank goodness. I need to test something. Put those on and sing. No, Mom, I don't want to hurt you. It's okay, honey. Sing. <sighs> the itsy-bitsy spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun. Are you okay? I'm fine. It was the chip killing people all along. But who would have put it in all of our ears? Open up. I'm gonna need both of you to come with me. No thanks. <sighs> Mom, did you just kill him? No, he's still alive. We need to question him. Go get the duct tape. There. He's not going anywhere. <sighs> hey, what are you guys doing? We want to know who you work for and why we found this inside of our ears. Show him. I... I don't know what you're talking about. If you won't talk, we'll sing. 
Wait, Mom, we can't do that. Yes, we can, honey. We don't have the chips in our ears anymore. It won't hurt us, but it'll hurt him. Just keep your eyes closed. No, hey, wait a minute. Are you, are you coming into the tree where dead men called out for his love to flee? Strange. Oh, wait, stop. I'll tell you. I work for a secret government organization. We put chips in everyone's ears and wipe their memories of it. By making singing lethal, it was a way for us to control the public. This is horrible. We have to tell everyone. Go ahead, honey. We're live. We have all been lied to. The government has been putting these in our ears. That's why singing kills us. But if you take them out, singing will no longer kill anyone and we can be free. We did it, Bria. We're all saved. Anything I touch turns to money, or any doll I touch comes to life. I'm too little to have money, and I don't have any friends in foster care, so I pick this one. I pick this Barbie to come to life. Whoa. Hi, I'm Come Alive Barbie. Are you gonna be my friend? Of course, I can be anything you want me to be. You can brush my hair and take me anywhere. Cool. You can also customize me using this remote. I want to give you brown eyes like me. Oh, Claire, who are you talking to? Uh-oh, who's that? That's another foster girl that lives here, and she's really mean to dolls. We have to hide you. Come on. Claire, who are you talking to? Nobody. Hi, I'm Come Alive Barbie. What the? Barbie, I told you to hide. Sorry, Claire. I just love making new friends. Does this control her? Hey, give that back. Ugh, just let me see it. Stop! You're gonna break her! Ugh, you're so annoying. This is why no one wants to adopt you. I don't want your dumb remote anyways. You killed her! <laughs> Have fun with your dead Barbie. Barbie, please wake up. Hola! Soy Barbie. ¿Cómo estás? Uh-oh, I think she reset you onto Spanish mode. That is mi mejor amiga. Barbie, I can't understand you. What am I gonna do? Barbie, I can use my powers to bring Ken to life to help us. I hope you know how to bring Barbie off of Spanish mode. Hey, Barbie. Hola, Ken. Why is she speaking Spanish? That's why I brought you here, Ken. I don't know how to make her speak English. Can I see her remote? Sure. That should do it. Hey, Barbie. Hi, Ken. Want to go for a drive? Sure, Ken. Activate the Barbie car. We cannot tell anyone that you're dolls. What do we say if they ask us? Tell them that, that you're my parents. Okay. Shh, we have to be really quiet so we can sneak out of here. Thanks for buying me this stuff, Barbie. Claire, you deserve it. Hey, you. You never paid me back my money. Claire. Claire. How dare you? Who are you guys? We are her parents. She got adopted. That's right, and one of her mother's many jobs is being a police officer. So if you don't leave right now, we're going to have you arrested. No, no, sorry, forget about the money. Bye! Claire! Are you okay? My arm got a little cut. Press the top button on the remote. Okay. Dr. Barbie is here to help. You're so strong, Claire. You should be feeling much better now. Barbie, Ken, you said that you can be anything, right? Yeah. That's right. Well... I want you to be my real mommy and daddy. You want us to adopt you? Yeah. Can you do that? Barbie, Ken, you said that you can be anything, right? Yeah. That's right. Well, I want you to be my real mommy and daddy. You want us to adopt you? Yeah. Can you do that? Claire, we... I understand if you don't want to because I know I'm not that great. What? Why would you think that? Because I'm not as smart or as cute as the other kids. I think that's why nobody wants to adopt me. Oh, Claire. Don't think like that. You're so smart. And you're super cute. Do you really think so? Claire, you can do anything you put your mind to. And anyone who tells you otherwise doesn't know what they're talking about. We would be honored to be your parents because you're such a good girl. Right, Ken? That's right, Barbie. Really? Yeah. Being a dad sounds fun. Guys, I forgot I had this in my pocket. My puppy. Since we're a family now, do we want to have a pet? Absolutely. Oh. This is going to be so much fun. I'll start looking for Barbie houses for us to live in. I'm so happy for us. We're going to be a great family. Yeah, Barbie and Ken finally together at last. Ugh. Ow, my head. Barbie? Ken, what's wrong? Ugh, my head. Barbie? Ken, what's wrong? 
I... I don't know. All of a sudden, we just feel really strange. My powers, they're running out. Oh no. All of you are gonna turn back into dolls. How much time do we have left? One minute. Please don't leave me. Claire, we'll never leave you. We might not be able to be your parents, but we'll always be your dolls. Yes, and you're going to get adopted. Do you promise? We promise. I'm gonna miss you so much. We'll still be together. You can take us wherever you go. Barbie, our eyes. They're melting. You guys are crying. Oh, the time's up. You guys are gonna... We love you. See you on the other side. If it isn't the little tattletale, where are your parents now, huh? They're right... They're at home. So you better not try anything or I'm gonna tell on you. No, no, I was just wondering. <laughs> I was looking for you all day. I'm sorry, I was just... I didn't want to hear it. You're lucky someone wants to adopt you. What? I'm getting adopted? Yes, finally. You guys were right. What? Who was right? Nothing. Meet your new parents. Hi. Hey. Can I bring my dolls? Oh, honey, of course. We'll consider them a part of our family. My soulmate controls my hairstyle for the day or my emotions. I might regret this, but I think I'm going to go with emotions because I really don't want him to mess up my hair. Good morning, Mother. Sweetie, I accidentally shrunk your favorite dress in the wash. You can let the dog wear it now. But, but you love that dress. You're sure you're not mad? No worries. I'm off to school. Hey, so I kind of have this, uh, this crush on you. Okay, your face is kind of scaring me a little. Good, because I don't even know why you're talking to me in the first place. You're right. I, I knew this was a bad idea. Uh, I'm, I'm just going to go. We have to evacuate. There's a fire. Oh, you just need to relax. Everything's going to be fine. Mr. Smith, this one student refuses to run. Hey, why aren't you running? I can't really run right now. I'm much too calm for that. Are you insane? Listen, this building is going <clears> to <throat> gonna come down on us. Come on, I'm taking you out of here. Look, she's alive! Mr. Smith saved her! <sighs> what is wrong with you? I'm sorry, but my soulmate gave me the emotion of calmness. What? Girl, your soulmate almost got you killed. Guys, can I talk to her alone for a sec? Your soulmate almost got you killed. Guys, can I talk to her alone for a sec? Hey, girly. So, what did Mr. Smith want to talk to you about yesterday? He just said that he couldn't help but feel like me almost dying in the school fire was his fault. And then he just took off. Well, that's kind of weird. You know what else is weird? I found out Mr. Smith is only 20 years old. Apparently he graduated early. That's cool. Yeah, and you've been stuck unhappy ever since you talked to him. Her hamster passed away this morning. And it hasn't even phased her. She deserves to mourn for her hamster. Now come to think of it, what if he was just hibernating and I buried him alive? I killed Chubsters. Oh, hey, don't cry. What just happened? Her soulmate must have heard us talking and changed her emotion. You know who I saw walking by when we were talking? Mr. Smith. No, you don't think that he's her... Soulmate? Yeah. You know what? Come with me. We're gonna go talk to him. Mr. Smith? Sylvia, I don't know if you should do this. Oh, hello, girls. Uh, what's up? I know you're her soulmate. Max, look, we can get adopted by a scientist or a billionaire. They find out about our powers. They could try to study us for research, too. Okay, I guess we're picking billionaire. Do anything dumb. I'm not letting her steal that from you. Hey, Molly, you gonna cry? With it. Yeah, that's the only thing we have from our parents. Come on. Mo Hello, children. I've heard a lot about you. Uh, you, you have? have? Let's go. This is both of your rooms. Why randomly speak in TikTok sounds or randomly speak in Spanish? My grandpa... I don't know, and my options were better than yours. Max, look, we can get adopted by a scientist or a billionaire. They find out about our powers. They could try to study us for research, too. Okay, I guess we're picking billionaire. Do anything dumb. I'm not letting her steal that from you. Hey, Molly, you gonna cry? With it. Yeah, that's the only thing we have from our parents. Come on. Mo Hello, children. I've heard a lot about you. Uh, you, you have? have? Let's go. This is both of your rooms. Why randomly speak in TikTok sounds or randomly speak in Spanish? My grandpa. I don't know, and my options were better than yours. Max, look, we can get adopted by a scientist or a billionaire. They find out about our powers. They could try to study us for research, too. Okay, I guess we're picking billionaire. Do anything dumb. I'm not letting her steal that from you. 
Hey, Molly, you gonna cry? With that, yeah, that's the only thing we have from our parents. Come on. Mo Hello, children. I've heard a lot about you. Uh, you, you have? have? Let's go. This is both of your rooms. Why randomly speak in TikTok sounds or randomly speak in Spanish? My grandpa. I don't know, and my options were better than yours. Max, look, we can get adopted by a scientist or a billionaire. They find out about our powers. They could try to study us for research, too. Okay, I guess we're picking billionaire. Do anything dumb. I'm not letting her steal that from you. Hey, Molly, you gonna cry? With that, yeah, that's the only thing we have from our parents. Come on. Mo Hello, children. I've heard a lot about you. Uh, you, you have? have? Let's go. This is both of your rooms. Why randomly speak in TikTok sounds or randomly speak in Spanish? My grandpa. I don't know, and my options were better than yours. Max, look, we can get adopted by a scientist or a billionaire. They find out about our powers. They could try to study us for research, too. Okay, I guess we're picking billionaire. Do anything dumb. I'm not letting her steal that from you. Hey, Molly, you gonna cry? With that, yeah, that's the only thing we have from our parents. Come on. Mo Hello, children. I've heard a lot about you. Uh, you, you have? have? Let's go. This is both of your rooms. Why randomly speak in TikTok sounds or randomly speak in Spanish? My grandpa. I don't know, and my options were better than yours. Max, look, we can get adopted by a scientist or a billionaire. They find out about our powers. They could try to study us for research, too. Okay, I guess we're picking billionaire. Do anything dumb. I'm not letting her steal that from you. Hey, Molly, you gonna cry? With that, yeah, that's the only thing we have from our parents. Come on. Mo Hello, children. I've heard a lot about you. Uh, you, you have? have? Let's go. This is both of your rooms. Why randomly speak in TikTok sounds or randomly speak in Spanish? My grandpa. I don't know, and my options were better than yours. Max, look, we can get adopted by a scientist or a billionaire. They find out about our powers. They could try to study us for research, too. Okay, I guess we're picking billionaire. Do anything dumb. I'm not letting her steal that from you. Hey, Molly, you gonna cry? With that, yeah, that's the only thing we have from our parents. Come on. Mo Hello, children. I've heard a lot about you. Uh, you, you have? have? Let's go. This is both of your rooms. Why randomly speak in TikTok sounds or randomly speak in Spanish? My grandpa. I don't know, and my options were better than yours. Max, look, we can get adopted by a scientist or a billionaire. They find out about our powers. They could try to study us for research, too. Okay, I guess we're picking billionaire. Do anything dumb. I'm not letting her steal that from you. Hey, Molly, you gonna cry? With that, yeah, that's the only thing we have from our parents. Come on. Mo Hello, children. I've heard a lot about you. Uh, you, you have? have? Let's go. This is both of your rooms. Why randomly speak in TikTok sounds or randomly speak in Spanish? My grandpa. I don't know, and my options were better than yours. Max, look, we can get adopted by a scientist or a billionaire. They find out about our powers. They could try to study us for research, too. Okay, I guess we're picking billionaire. Do anything dumb. I'm not letting her steal that from you. Hey, Molly, you gonna cry? With that, yeah, that's the only thing we have from our parents. Come on. Mo Hello, children. I've heard a lot about you. Uh, you, you have? have? Let's go. This is both of your rooms. Why randomly speak in TikTok sounds or randomly speak in Spanish? My grandpa. I don't know, and my options were better than yours. Max, look, we can get adopted by a scientist or a billionaire. They find out about our powers. They could try to study us for research, too. Okay, I guess we're picking billionaire. Do anything dumb. I'm not letting her steal that from you. Hey, Molly, you gonna cry? With that, yeah, that's the only thing we have from our parents. Come on. Mo Hello, children. I've heard a lot about you. Uh, you, you have? have? Let's go. This is both of your rooms. Why randomly speak in TikTok sounds or randomly speak in Spanish? My grandpa. I don't know, and my options were better than yours. Max, look, we can get adopted by a scientist or a billionaire. They find out about our powers. They could try to study us for research, too. Okay, I guess we're picking billionaire. Do anything dumb. I'm not letting her steal that from you. Hey, Molly, you gonna cry? With that, yeah, that's the only thing we have from our parents. Come on. Mo Hello, children. I've heard a lot about you. Uh, you, you have? have? Let's go. This is both of your rooms. Why randomly speak in TikTok sounds or randomly speak in Spanish? My grandpa. 
I don't know, and my options were better than yours. Max, look, we can get adopted by a scientist or a billionaire. They find out about our powers. They could try to study us for research, too. Okay, I guess we're picking billionaire. Do anything dumb. I'm not letting her steal that from you. Hey, Molly, you gonna cry? With that yeah, that's the only thing we have from our parents. Come on. Mo Hello, children. I've heard a lot about you. Uh, you, you have? have? Let's go. This is both of your rooms. Why randomly speak in TikTok sounds or randomly speak in Spanish? My grandpa. I don't know, and my options were better than yours. Max, look, we can get adopted by a scientist or a billionaire. They find out about our powers. They could try to study us for research, too. Okay, I guess we're picking billionaire. Do anything dumb. I'm not letting her steal that from you. Hey, Molly, you gonna cry? With it. Yeah, that's the only thing we have from our parents. Come on. Mo Hello, children. I've heard a lot about you. Uh, you, you have? have? Let's go. This is both of your rooms. Why randomly speak in TikTok sounds or randomly speak in Spanish? My grandpa. I don't know, and my options were better than yours. Max, look, we can get adopted by a scientist or a billionaire. They find out about our powers. They could try to study us for research, too. Okay, I guess we're picking billionaire. Do anything dumb. I'm not letting her steal that from you. Hey, Molly, you gonna cry? With it. Yeah, that's the only thing we have from our parents. Come on. Mo Hello, children. I've heard a lot about you. Uh, you, you have? have? Let's go. This is both of your rooms. Why randomly speak in TikTok sounds or randomly speak in Spanish? My grandpa. I don't know, and my options were better than yours. Max, look, we can get adopted by a scientist or a billionaire. They find out about our powers. They could try to study us for research, too. Okay, I guess we're picking billionaire. Do anything dumb. I'm not letting her steal that from you. Hey, Molly, you gonna cry? With it. Yeah, that's the only thing we have from our parents. Come on. Mo Hello, children. I've heard a lot about you. Uh, you, you have? have? Let's go. This is both of your rooms. Why randomly speak in TikTok sounds or randomly speak in Spanish? My grandpa. I don't know, and my options were better than yours. Max, look, we can get adopted by a scientist or a billionaire. They find out about our powers. They could try to study us for research, too. Okay, I guess we're picking billionaire. Do anything dumb. I'm not letting her steal that from you. Hey, Molly, you gonna cry? With it. Yeah, that's the only thing we have from our parents. Come on. Mo Hello, children. I've heard a lot about you. Uh, you, you have? have? Let's go. This is both of your rooms. Why randomly speak in TikTok sounds or randomly speak in Spanish? My grandpa. I don't know, and my options were better than yours. Max, look, we can get adopted by a scientist or a billionaire. They find out about our powers. They could try to study us for research, too. Okay, I guess we're picking billionaire. Do anything dumb. I'm not letting her steal that from you. Hey, Molly, you gonna cry? With it. Yeah, that's the only thing we have from our parents. Come on. Mo Hello, children. I've heard a lot about you. Uh, you, you have? have? Let's go. This is both of your rooms. Why randomly speak in TikTok sounds or randomly speak in Spanish? My grandpa. I don't know, and my options were better than yours. Max, look, we can get adopted by a scientist or a billionaire. They find out about our powers. They could try to study us for research, too. Okay, I guess we're picking billionaire. Do anything dumb. I'm not letting her steal that from you. Hey, Molly, you gonna cry? With it. Yeah, that's the only thing we have from our parents. Come on. Mo Hello, children. I've heard a lot about you. Uh, you, you have? have? Let's go. This is both of your rooms. Why randomly speak in TikTok sounds or randomly speak in Spanish? My grandpa. I don't know, and my options were better than yours. Max, look, we can get adopted by a scientist or a billionaire. They find out about our powers. They could try to study us for research, too. Okay, I guess we're picking billionaire. Do anything dumb. I'm not letting her steal that from you. Hey, Molly, you gonna cry? With it. Yeah, that's the only thing we have from our parents. Come on. Mo Hello, children. I've heard a lot about you. Uh, you, you have? have? Let's go. This is both of your rooms. Why randomly speak in TikTok sounds or randomly speak in Spanish? My grandpa. I don't know, and my options were better than yours. Max, look, we can get adopted by a scientist or a billionaire. They find out about our powers. They could try to study us for research, too. Okay, I guess we're picking billionaire. Do anything dumb. I'm not letting her steal that from you. 
Hey, Molly, you gonna cry? With it. Yeah, that's the only thing we have from our parents. Come on. Mo Hello, children. I've heard a lot about you. Uh, you, you have? have? Let's go. This is both of your rooms. Why randomly speak in TikTok sounds or randomly speak in Spanish? My grandpa. T I don't know, and my options were better than yours. Max, look, we can get adopted by a scientist or a billionaire. They find out about our powers. They could try to study us for research, too. Okay, I guess we're picking billionaire. Do anything dumb. I'm not letting her steal that from you. Hey, Molly, you gonna cry? With it. Yeah, that's the only thing we have from our parents. Come on. Mo Hello, children. I've heard a lot about you. Uh, you, you have? have? Let's go. This is both of your rooms. Why randomly speak in TikTok sounds or randomly speak in Spanish? My grandpa. T I don't know, and my options were better than yours. Max, look, we can get adopted by a scientist or a billionaire. They find out about our powers. They could try to study us for research, too. Okay, I guess we're picking billionaire. Do anything dumb. I'm not letting her steal that from you. Hey, Molly, you gonna cry? With it. Yeah, that's the only thing we have from our parents. Come on. Mo Hello, children. I've heard a lot about you. Uh, you, you have? have? Let's go. This is both of your rooms. Why randomly speak in TikTok sounds or randomly speak in Spanish? My grandpa. T I don't know, and my options were better than yours. Max, look, we can get adopted by a scientist or a billionaire. They find out about our powers. They could try to study us for research, too. Okay, I guess we're picking billionaire. Do anything dumb. I'm not letting her steal that from you. Hey, Molly, you gonna cry? With it. Yeah, that's the only thing we have from our parents. Come on. Mo Hello, children. I've heard a lot about you. Uh, you, you have? have? Let's go. This is both of your rooms. Why randomly speak in TikTok sounds or randomly speak in Spanish? My grandpa. T I don't know, and my options were better than yours. Max, look, we can get adopted by a scientist or a billionaire. They find out about our powers. They could try to study us for research, too. Okay, I guess we're picking billionaire. Do anything dumb. I'm not letting her steal that from you. Hey, Molly, you gonna cry? With it. Yeah, that's the only thing we have from our parents. Come on. Mo Hello, children. I've heard a lot about you. Uh, you, you have? have? Let's go. This is both of your rooms. Why randomly speak in TikTok sounds or randomly speak in Spanish? My grandpa. T I don't know, and my options were better than yours. Please be a vampire. Please be a vampire. Werewolf. Oh no. Who is ready for their first day of scare school? Me. Did you find out what your soulmate is yet? Mm -mm, not yet. Well, as soon as you find out, let me know. Hey, new girl. What's your species? What? She means what mystical creatures are your parents. Oh, well, my dad is a vampire and my mom is a siren. Your mom's a siren? Like a mermaid? That's so cool. Yeah, well, they're both divorced now, so it didn't really work out. It's alright. Mine are too. Same here. <laughs> I heard Miss Scream is assigning us partners. Really? Yeah, hope we get each other. Yeah, me too. Draculina, you'll be partners with- Can you please just call me Lena? Okay, Lena. You'll be partners with Clauden. No way. I don't work with vampires. I'm not working with her. Well, I don't want to work with him either. If you don't work together, you'll fail the class. Is something bothering you, darling? You hardly touched your spaghetti and eyeballs. Nothing, just someone at school's been giving me a lot of trouble. Oh, Belle, why don't you just use your siren call to make them fall in love with you? Dad, you know I don't like doing that. Suit yourself. But don't forget to let me know about your soulmate. Right, I will. Claudin, look, we can't fail this class, so we're gonna have to work together. Fine, but I can't have you coming over to my house. My father would disown me if he saw me working with you. Likewise, but you do realize that I'm only half vampire, right? You're also half siren, aren't you? Yeah. Wait a minute, how did you know that? Uh, lucky guess. Mm hmm. Anyways, why don't we just work at the old haunted house across the street? No one will spot us together there. No way, that place is infested with ghosts. Aw, oh, what's the matter? Too scared? I can't believe you convinced me to come to this haunted house. If you're too scared, you can leave. I'm not scared. Claudine, look behind you. <coughs> what? Got you. Oh, that's not funny. Don't even smile. You should have seen your face. <laughs> Okay, next question. What is the best way to scare a human? Is it A to... What was that? Uh-uh, cut it out. You can't prank me twice. I'm not kidding. What was that? How would I know what... 
Search the house. This place is probably crawling with them. Are those? Monster hunters, yeah. Come on, we gotta hide. They're here somewhere. I heard them. Hey, it's gonna be okay. I won't let them hurt you. <gasps> Claudin! I got one! What kind of creature do you think she is? I don't know, but I can't wait to find out. Claudin, can you hear me? What happened? You were hit with a tranquilizer. Wait, what? Where did they go? Hey, don't worry. I took care of the monster hunters. I used my siren call. What does that do again? Well, basically it makes anyone fall in love with me, and then from there they'll do whatever I say, so I told them to leave this place and to never come back. Whoa, you... you saved my life. I mean, you were gonna do the same for me. Lena, my soulmate is half vampire and half siren. Um... My soulmate actually says werewolf, so I guess that means that you and I are- We can't be together, Lena. Our parents will never allow it. Wait, speaking of parents, we've been gone for a really long time. Yeah, we better get back. But, Claudin, I'll tell my dad that we're soulmates if you tell yours. Uh, okay. Dad, there's something I need to- Honey! Mom? Mom? Surprise! I'm human for today! Isn't your mother just the most beautiful thing you've ever seen? What did you do to Dad? You know your father can be short with me. He wasn't gonna let me in, so I... So you used your siren call on him? Don't act like you don't do the same. I do not. Uh-huh. Anyways, what did you want to tell him? Well, I was gonna tell him that I found out my soulmate. Oh! Please tell me he's a handsome young merman. Not exactly. He's, uh... He's a werewolf. A werewolf? Baby, you know how your dad feels about those. I know, but I really like this guy. Does he feel the same about you? Mom, we're soulmates, of course. So we're your father and I, and look how we turned out. But... But nothing! You need to make sure he feels the same way before you tell your dad. Hey, Clodden. Hey. So, I don't really know how to ask you this, but, um... What's wrong? I'm not allowed to talk to you anymore. Wait, what? I don't get it. At first they were okay with me dating you. Then all of a sudden they're telling me to stay away from you. Well, maybe if I go talk to them they'll change their mind. No, I, I think we better just keep our distance. Aw, oh, baby, what's the matter? Claudin and I can't be together. There are plenty of young mermen for you in the sea. No, Dad, I don't want to date a mer... Wait a minute, Dad would never say something like that. You're controlling him still. Of course not! You don't want me to be with Claudin, do you? Baby, I... Did you make his parents hate me? No, I just went over there to talk to them. Mom. Look, it wasn't going to work out anyways. I'm saving you the trouble. I can't believe you. I'm telling him. Claudin, I can't talk to you. No, wait, there's something I have to... <laughs> Whoa, Lena, you alright? You okay? Yeah, sorry. I only get like this when I'm around garlic. Wait, really? Yeah, one of the many perks being half vampire. <laughs> I'm gonna go get you some water. Thanks. So she does have a weakness. Told you. You two, I, I thought I- Got rid of us? Think again. You won't be able to sing this time. Let's go. Ow! Hurry up and tie her up. We gotta get out of here. I know, I'm almost done. <laughs> Don't get that garlic too close to her. We need her alive. Okay, let me just take a quick blood sample. Lena! Hey, get away from her. We're not gonna hurt her. At least, not too badly. <laughs> Don't get that garlic too close to her. We need her alive. Okay, let me just take a quick blood sample. Lena, hey, get away from her. We're not gonna hurt her. At least, not too badly. <laughs> Thank you so much for saving me. Of course. I mean, I'm just glad you're alright. I'm really glad we were able to work things out with our parents. Yeah, now that mine are out of the trance, they really like you, but not your mom. Yeah, she says she's sorry. She's back in the ocean now, though. It's okay. Parents can be a little crazy sometimes. You know, I heard werewolves are really bad kissers. Really? Why don't you find out for yourself? <laughs>